Nyla and everybody. Mm-hmm. And which other parish I leave out? I think I call all 14. St. Thomas, I mentioned St. Thomas. Yes, I don't want to leave out nobody in Daddy Road. I'm going to take up what I try to call the 14 parishes, then, but I think I covered them all. Mm-hmm. Portmore is not a parish, it's a municipality. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I think I cover everybody on the north coast, the south coast, yes, yeah, south coast. Um, I said Clarendon, Manchester, um, Saint Elizabeth on the north, northern end. Yes, um, I think I, I mentioned everybody. Saint Catherine down south, so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all right. So all of uno across Jamaica. Yes. Good to have you all on board tonight. Can I tell you something, people? You all know that it's very, very hot days we're experiencing. Some real whew, humid temperatures. Can I tell you? To the point where it's making some people even sick. So despite the heat, you know, and despite the classrooms feeling like furnaces, <sighs> Why are you troubling him? You're envious. You're envious. Okay. Listeners, Cassidy and my co-host happen to be troubling Mike. <laughs> Interfering with my mic. And I want them to leave Mike alone so I can talk to Mike and interact with Mike. Caress Mike whenever I need to. Just leave him alone, please. Okay. Both of y'all. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> where was I? I've lost my thought. Big ups to some peeps right now. Quick, 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 quick. Um, J. Marge Bailey. A very, very bright, smart little boy. Yes, he has done very well in his PEP exams. And congrats to you, J. Mar in St. Thomas. Going on to Morant Bay High School. And, of course, yeah. becomes to his dad, Mr. Bailey, Julian, who is saying, boy, big up to my son. He's very proud of his son. Very, very proud of him. He worked very hard with him. And I like when the fathers them push the kids like that. So big ups to you both and to mommy and everybody else over there in St. Thomas. All right? And... To our friend Vivian, who I didn't shout out to last week, but big up yourself, Vivian, over there in Atlanta, Georgia, and dying on the crew. The Jamaican AC Clubites, yes, Fitzroy and Denise, and mm. I'm leaving them out. Why? I can't Are remember you the, all me the to help you? Yes, man, with all the names Gary the and everybody. Doctor. The music doctor. Music doctor, yes. All of you from the Jamaican AC Club who really love to do all they can to help everybody and anybody, especially behind the scenes. They love it that way. All right, guys? Blessings to you and continue to do the good job that you're all doing. All right, let me give you those numbers in case you want to text in or call in later on as we go through. The local number is 876 Four five three one four four four. That's eight seven six four five three one triple four. And the international number is nine five four three three eight seven nine seven three. That's nine five four three three eight seven nine seven three. And shout outs, of course, to our social media peeps. And we go to YouTube. Remember, you can see the show after on YouTube, and all our other shows are posted on YouTube as well. So you can check that out at Styles FM Radio. Instagram people, follow us at Styles FM. Twitter, at Styles FM 961. And for Facebook, which you can go to right now to see the live feed, check out Styles FM 96.1. Go to that fan page, and you can see us live and direct. Okie dokie. Mm-hmm. And big ups to our friends in Brooklyn on the 91.3 FM and 102.9 FM in Bronx. And the USA on the go numbers. I'm going to give that one, throw that one to my co-host who hasn't said these numbers in a very long time. So here are the on the go styles numbers. Okay, so for the United States, your on the go number is 712 832 
0330012772. For the United Kingdom, your number is 0330010332. That's 0330103322. And in Canada, your on-the-go number is 647-957-9637. That's 647-957-9637. All righty. And from Dwight McKenzie. Is it Dwight McKenzie? Yes. Dwight McKenzie from Buff Bay. Sending shout-outs to Daddy Rude and yours truly. So good night to you, too. Dwight, thanks for being on board so early. Good, good, good. Mama Winsome, godmother for life. Yeah, congratulations, she says, to all pep children. Blessings on them as they pursue their career paths. Yes, definitely. Kimoy, this is a, okay, blessing. Blessed Friday night to Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Kimoy, Sunning Hill, St. Thomas, locked in. All right, looking for a good program. Well, we're going to give you one, brother. All right, Lady Sean Hart Ill, she says good night, and we give that right back to you. Good night to you, too. And to one of my so loved persons, DG Angel, I haven't seen you in a while. Are you? Is that smoke? Is that a cigarette you have there, DG? It looks like, uh, could you blow that up for me, please, on um, Cassidy? Thank yes. you. She said yes. Yes? Yes. She's enjoying a blunt. Oh. And she's... It's not something you rule upon puff. No, it's not that one. No, man. Maybe It's a not, cigarette. I guess they don't have that one. That one. one. Yes. <laughs> and yeah, is that a, a cup of tea there? With, with the emoji. <laughs> so maybe it's, it, it's a... DG, love you, girl. Pick up yourself. And you realize, you realize that... Pick up Lady Cleo only. Okay, let me, let me the, do that part again. Sorry. Be quiet. Be quiet. You're not here, remember? Big up Lady Cleo only. Right. The word only is very significant. You realize in the cup green too? <laughs> so it's some green stuff. Some green stuff. In oh. the cup as well. So she's, I think she's fairly high right now. Ah, she's high. High. Well, big me up when you're high, honey. I like that. <laughs> big up clear only when you're high. Roll it up and... Okay. <clears throat> okay. Enjoy, DG. Enjoy. <laughs> Good night to you too, Shelly. In Leith all... That is St. Thomas. Mm -hmm. Hmm. That is rude on my place. Mm -hmm. Yep. The text line says, already, big up to my godson. I can't call her name here, no. Raquel me. As I go. Mm -hmm. Raquel me brown. <laughs> Did good on his pep as well. From Dwight uh, Mackenzie. All right. Did he say godson? Yes, godson. I think he said grandson. Okay, godson. All right. Now, um, last Sunday, did you get a chance to watch the state funeral of the late Edward Philip George Siaga? No. Oh, it was I, a I state funeral indeed. Oh, yes, man. I had the liberty of watching him being laid to rest. Yes. And it was indeed a very very interesting ceremony i think he was well loved and well represented and being jamaica's fifth prime minister he indeed got a very excellent farewell so may his soul rest in peace and light perpetually shine on him and blessings forever reign on the family as they find comfort in his legacy very, very influential in his constituency back then. And sports, as it relates to sports and involving the young people, I must, must give him the kudos for that as it relates to the um, sporting activities, the football, the netball, basketball, and all of that, that he's, you know, steer-headed while he was alive. And even as he got older, he was still there supporting and motivating those young people. So, yeah, great job. Oh, um, great what, what, what's his... Um, what's his... The Alias, um, Siago, I think. No. no, no, no. People, no. People say Siago, but it's Siaga. Um, I don't remember some of the aliases that I heard. Well, um, I heard so many of them. <laughs> one, I don't remember. One is it? One done. One done. Yes, that was. That, is one one I heard. We don't want the the most significant <laughs> of them all. Would have been that one. No. Which one? Breeder. Really. I didn't yes. hear that one. <laughs> I didn't yes. hear that one when they were calling them out. I think one of the 
persons who did tribute mentioned some of the names or something like that. But it, it, it was a good, it was a really good funeral. And our local television had very good coverage. They had coverage all over the place. Yeah, on location at the church. I believe the church was, oh, my church downtown. I don't remember the name of the church right now. It's not coming back to me. One of those cathedrals. Okay. Big cathedrals. Yes, could hold up to a thousand people. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. Send off. Let me ask a question. Mm -hmm. Does my shirt look like um, a paint job gone bad? Yes. It does. It's just that the lines are parallel to each other. Mm -hmm. Not a paint job gone really bad. It's what a color paint is it? job. It looks like a mauve and What's lavender. When, when, um, gone bad shade of purple. Okay, mauve is a gone bad shade of purple. Yes. Okay. That deep, deep purple, that's mm -hmm. deep. All yes. right. Yes, and then lavender-ish so, in between. So it's a, a, a kind of candy-looking stripe-ish. Does it look or cheap? Or a prison, a prison stripe -ish. Does the shirt look cheap? Does it look cheap? Look, yeah, cheap. No, not really looking cheap. Did Lisa say that? No. <laughs> Just check so, it. Someone on the WhatsApp <laughs> line is saying, does it feel cheap? No, it doesn't feel cheap either. Let me see your color. <clears throat> well, I see a real, really looking tag in there. Yes. Cuba Vera. Okay. That looks sound rich. That really sounds rich. No, say it again and loud. Uh, Cuba Vera. Is, okay. is that the pronunciation, sir? Maybe. Oh. C U B A V E R A. Yeah. DG says, don't. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, mama. Okay. Really? Okay. We'll talk about that one. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, we're up on the 9.30 break, guys. Already. Can you imagine? Yes. It's now 9.30. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Dwight, don't touch that dial. <laughs> Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 893-2266 Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text and now WhatsApp 518-2399 To advertise your business and events call, text or WhatsApp us on 518-2399 518-2399 don't forget 518-2399. Did you know that the mosquitoes that cause dengue, chikungunya, and zika bite both during the day and the night? To prevent mosquito bites, apply insect repellent containing DEET on bare, exposed skin at least three times a day. With discounts so great, we can only have it once per year. Carib Hardware and Electrical Services, same everything electrical, will be having our annual sale starting July 1st to the 6th. We have massive discounts on all your hardware and electrical supplies, such as windows, doors, plywood, cements, wires, panel boxes, breakers, meters, sockets and switches, plumbing and lighting fixtures, and much more at unbeatable prices of up to 70% off. Come early and save big. We at Carib Hardware are here to serve you. Visit us at 40 West Street, Port Antonio, next to Singer, or call us at 876-715-6412 or WhatsApp 876-461-7172. That's Carib Hardware and Electrical Services Annual Sale. Come shop with us and save big. Yo, this is Jatty the Reggae Best. Join me alongside Jatty Jr. right here on Styles FM each and every Saturday from 1 to 5 p.m. for the Reggae Ambassador Entertainment Show. I'm going to take you on a musical ride in a yard style. Coming up, Scat, Rockstar.
steady and oh yeah, we'll rock you from old to new. Roots, culture, and in a dance hall style, Lily Lily Lee. And remember, each and every Saturday from 1 to 5 p.m. for the Reggae Ambassador Entertainment Show. Check it out. Right here on Styles FM. Yes. The most anticipated party of the summer is back. Styles FM, Fan Fusion Party, Episode 6, Drunken Masquerade, Saturday, July 13, 2019, at the Bayview Waterfront Property, Oysters Bay, Port Antonio, Jamaica. Come here, Styles FM's finest DJs, juggling retro hits from the 70s, 80s, 90s, and early 2000s. Admission 700 pre-sold, 1,000 at the gate, VIP 3,500, Styles Ebo 6,000. Party starts at 7 p.m. sharp. Listen to Styles FM for ticket outlets or call. 876-518-2399 Fan Fusion Party Drunken Masquerade Dress tropically elegant Fan Fusion is not just a party It's an experience Must be 18 years and older to enter ID required Drink responsibly Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily Necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Definitely That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome so back to Real Talk. We have guys. something to clear up. Yes, please. And uh, maybe an apology to be to be extended. Oh yes. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, go ahead. They're listening. Stop it, nice. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Let me lock my tail like you know, puppy dog, shame dog, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and say. I never jumped, by the way, I didn't join the body and say that the that it, that it rules shirt look cheap. Oh. I did not. And oh. I would dare not because it's that oh. it we'll be talking about. Oh. But I did say it looked kind of, um, <laughs> <laughs> pink jobish, garnish, badish. <laughs> but I, ref- I, I now decide to um, <laughs> take back that story. I'll recant that statement. Um, yes. It's a Cuba Vera shirt. And them is not cheap. They are not cheap people. It is a very, very top brand for one. And it's also a very, very expensive brand for two. It's no medium shelf, no low level shelf shirt. It's a top level shirt. You know what to see the price. Scissors well, of ask, the shirt, damn. Let, so let, let me ask you a I question. take it back. Your shirt looks really nice, sir. <laughs> 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 really cool on you, sir. <laughs> because the price of that shirt there could have given me a nice suit <laughs> for graduation or fan fusion or something. <laughs> you know probably sh- probably shoes too. <laughs> <laughs> that that reminds me of a of a popular <laughs> rap artist that I'm certain it's because of the money. <laughs> <laughs> Read my lips. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Lord of mercy. Mm, my goodness. <laughs> Doesn't he look handsome? Yes. With all that. Do- he does. He <laughs> does. With all of that, he does. Do you think like 30 years ago, he looked that he was that handsome? Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. That's grown on him. With all his accolades in his pocket. <laughs> it has grown on him, son. It has grown. Boy. <laughs> so you have on a very nice shirt. Thank you very much. Cuba Vera people, go look it up. And, Cuba Vera. They, and they will make good um, fine fusion because they have a lot of um, tropical. Yeah, yeah, tropical looks. Wear, yeah. And this shirt is one that you don't have to iron. So for those men who don't like to iron, you could go source some Cuba Veras, yes. And when you crush them, no matter how you ring them and crush them, they come back smooth. That means it's good quality. I tell you that for sure. And how was that proven? He demonstrated. He wrung it and <laughs> twisted it and crushed it. And let it go. And you know when and I it was just c- fell right. You know back what I was thinking about when clear. I was crushing it. Yes. You. Me. Yes. 
Oh God. Yes. I feel like one. Uh, no. Mosquito, your clap. Pow. Because because you have fall about company. <laughs> you have fall about I company. I didn't say it looked cheap. I just and said it looked <laughs> the color paint job. And I was saying it looked like it's a color shade, shade, shades of mauve. A, mauve a bad and, paint job. And mauve is what? And One bad a, purple, right? And dirty purple. On second thought, mauve is a <laughs> dull, you know, cool purple. <laughs> Just to be able to sell this shirt would do me well right now. I swear it. Yo! Um, that's a gift, DG says. He is not buying that. Kiss my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Look here, me now trouble him shirt one next week, DG. Can I oh, tell you? Lord, I've learned my lesson. <laughs> do they do Cuba Vera female? I'm not sure. That's a very good question. You should should source that so the next birthday gift you give me, you get me a Cuba Vera so I can come in here and say, ladies and gentlemen, I am wearing Cuba Vera female. But providing they don't have the female, find one next nice brand. <laughs> I can't come. Maybe they have Haiti Vera. Maybe. Yes. Maybe, maybe. So how you been? Tired. I've been very tired. Um, Me too. I'm the, not doing so hundred myself. Last um couple of weeks been very hectic. The, mm-hmm. the whole fan fusion putting together. The, oh yeah. The planning is over now. The work starts. So yes. It's a lot happening. Anticipating. Yeah. Um. Number of changes to the venue. What? New arrangement and then w- the work time that we had mm-hmm. planning on had to be reduced because they're going to have an event on the Friday. Oh. So, you know, we have to try to um, work, work in, be- in between, you know, yeah, that as well. prior to their event and after their event, mm-hmm. you know, so try to make everything work just the yeah. same. Mm-hmm. Um, but... We have put the pieces together, slowly mm-hmm. but surely. People, please, the last minute ticket thing, no bother with it. Because on the last two and three days, you know, access to tickets are going to become limited because we don't really have much persons to run out to the outlets and replenish the outlets. So please, may I ask you, get the tickets sent from now, and the Style Zebos are all done. Ooh. Right? So Style Zebos sold out. Um, VIP is going, so persons who are interested in interested in VIP, please, I'm asking you, get your VIP from now because I know a person wanted to come to the gate and said they want VIP ticket, etc. You might have, as well as you may not have. Mm-hmm. All right, so may I ask you, everybody, get your tickets. Listen to the radio station, know where ticket outlets are, and for the persons in Saint Mary, there's a bridge um, two weeks ago. Body, I apologize to you like ten thousand times. Um, I've got to find a way to make a get a ticket to them. Otherwise, just link me up tonight and we'll make a separate arrangement, right? Because we have done it for St. Mary people before. Mm-hmm. We're in that. We got a list from them and we put those persons' lists um, knowing that they at the gate would get the pre sold price. And that's Ooh. only for persons um, coming from yeah. uh, St. Mary who we, we, who we failed getting, getting, getting tickets to them. Definitely. So, you know. We, we're doing we're doing it slowly but surely, um, and the anticipation is is up. Yep. The main thing get it get your tickets early. People in Saint Thomas, um, tickets are at one at Warford Plaza by Universal Electrical and Plumbing, which is well, everybody know that has Presa Plaza, and then now you have tickets at the Texaco gas station, we call up the bay Texaco, right so. And me, you can get tickets from me as well. Four three nine five one six zero four three nine five one six zero four three nine five one six zero. Mm-hmm. Right. So you do have other persons. Um, Black or Pearl in Saint Thomas has tickets as well. <laughs> right. So you know, Andy have tickets as well. Okay. Andy, by the way, you have tickets le- left. Andy, are all your tickets then book out? Let me know. Right, I think a bridge is supposed to call Andy today regarding arrangement for transportation. I think somebody's doing that. You're doing that, Andy, right? I think Andy's doing some transportation thing from okay, St. Thomas as well. Cool. He's typing too. Right. Good uh, night to you too, my dear. Um, I gave someone your number. The bridge where I sell the tickets at Wharf Road, I gave me a number. Right? Because apparently persons are asking about uh, shuttle service. Mm. Okay. 
um, Kadian is also locked in. Oh, Kadian is not apologizing for your shirt. She says, and this is quote, Kadian says, and I quote, this is not Lady Clear's words anymore. Mm -hmm. Still look cheap and like a paint job gone bad. Not apologize for nothing. How are you, you Kadian? I just a player here to stay, man. You and Kadian, Kadian got the beef for you tonight, bro. Mm -hmm. C-U-B-A-V-E-R-A -E dot com. <laughs> All right, so. Um, boy. Um, Pep. I, I've had, before that, I've had yeah. a tumultuous week. Um, what does that mean? Prepare. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, boy. I've been up and about, in and out, up and Like down. a china bump. Oh, tongues. Like a china bump. Oh, natural. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For now. <laughs> your, head, your, your, your real Edna look bad, man. Oh, Jesus. Your real Edna look Thank bad. Thank you, Diane. Diane likes it, too. Yeah. And a few other people, yeah. I sold five VIP tickets today alone. You go, girl. Rock it. What? Yes. I have more for you. Yes, DG. You go on, girl. You go on. And the package is 2000 which includes ticket and transportation. That, that's good. Not bad at all, and Andy. that's from St. Thomas, to yeah. and from. Mm. That good. Yep, good. Very good. That good. Um, Here, people, from St. Thomas, the package is $2,000, includes ticket and transportation, right? Cool. And I'm certain, and you know what, the last minute thing, we're going to cause even the, any delays in the bus. What time the bus is scheduled, is scheduled to leave and from where, Andy? Please let me know. Yes. So my week, yes. terrible. Not terrible. Terrible in terms of being tired. Super, and your super Edna tired. Edna looks so big. Don't let some people hear you because they want to hear that so they can jump on it when, when they see me to say, yes, man. So let me tell you. So let me tell you. So not, 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 not threaten anybody, please. Say it big or it not look it's so big? It's not big. big. It not look so big. <laughs> let me tell you about my week, no, man. I tell you about my head look big or not big. All right. <laughs> Ciao. Like your one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I've had graduation I practices. Here. Graduation practices. I've been to and from the church with the kids, 40 out of them. What? Yeah, man. And I'm um, doing the song and the marching and all of that. And Heal the world. No, dear. We're not so retro. Make it. Uh, no fan fusion? Mm? No fan fusion for, for graduation song? Retro? Mm -mm, not that one. Mm -mm. What? No. So, <laughs> That's, so, so we, what's the graduation song? I'm interested. I can't know. tell you that on air. Why not? It's giving away the surprise. No. Like a fan. Uh, hey. uh, that's for fan fusion. They're kids. That's for fan fusion, despite them being kids. <laughs> <laughs> You're so lunatic. <laughs> you are so lunatic. So, Kimoy, <laughs> St. Thomas are roll out in large number for fan fusion. Yes, sir. Uh huh. And I want to leave like five o'clock so we can get there early. So all the Saint Thomas people and the leave and the bus crew leaving from five o'clock because the show start at seven. They yeah. want to come over and relax and you know. Yeah. True. I think the time, the time and drive our, come over. And, and our plan too is for really for finish everything where we are do by four o'clock. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So um, rough week ahead. Well, next week. Oh, hallelujah! Next week, Friday, providing. I am able to come in. I will come in and you'll hear me scream. You know what that scream is going to be for? Oh my God, officially on holidays. Can you get what a, a, can a you, nice can you little... get a, um, you know what, what will make me feel good for you? What? If during your holiday, you also get a paycheck holiday. Oh, hallelujah. Even better. <laughs> that means your paycheck took a holiday, you know? What is it? No, no, I'm not getting good. I'm not getting good. Go on again. A paycheck holiday. What you mean? You mean I get no paycheck? Yeah, because you're on holiday. You didn't this work. This is where you can get the big boof DG. First oh. one from night. <laughs> For me, if no, you get one paycheck holiday, I thought you were But you're not saying, working. I am working. Working, resting? Yes, rejuvenating is working. No, but... Working but, myself back but to being what, wholesome What is September. so special about you, right, as a civil servant? What is so special about all of us? That's different... From me, you get two months you holiday. You don't do paid. half the plus, work that we do with them plus kids. You get vacation as well, right? Not not just so. After ten years, you get eight months. 
What? Yes, that's awful, isn't it? T awful. Very awful, don't it? After working for eight years, you get 10 months vacation. After 10 years, you get eight, you get eight months. You're entitled to eight months. That's awful. So, all right, but hold on, hold on, hold on. So after four years, after five on, years, you get four on. months. All right, hold on, hold on. That's provided that you didn't take any. You're entitled. No, no, no. Is that provided that you didn't take any within that 10 year span? No, you wouldn't have gotten any, that's my point. It's set. You wouldn't have gotten any vacation prior to that. Right, so you wouldn't have... So, uh, so, so this, 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 the, the, the constant thing is, right. after five years of working, yes. you can then apply for your four months vacation leave. Okay, so which means that you didn't take any vacation with no, that. No, you wouldn't have, couldn't okay. have. Right. Because and then if, all, you, if because, you want... Because you, were, you would have already, <laughs> by default, gotten two months, you would, have, you, months. You would have robbed it's taxpayers... Okay. You would, have, you would have robbed taxpayers. You're calling us teachers, educators, facilitators who go in the classroom with these 30-odd, 40-odd different um, background students. You, not to, hold on, oh, hold that thought, brother. Yes. Not to mention at break and lunchtime, we have to supervise and monitor oh, them. Thank, hey, monitor hey, them right throughout. I so agree. With the first time, I agree with DG. Hold on, huh? And right, no, no, DG, y'all don't need no summer holidays. You need to go go. No, there no, no, that's not what she says. Read what she said. You teachers see? need to come help the yes. kids during the summer. Yes. <laughs> DG, I like you, you know. Make it stay that way, please. Okay? I love you. Make it stay that way. <laughs> so, after all of that. All of what? And all the work that after we all do. Of what? You're and compared to all the other people out there in their with their jacket and suits, After you're telling what? us that we're the ones who are robbing tax taxpayers? I said... Seriously? I said... You're a wicked boy. Uh, you want me to repeat what I said? No. Let it please. pains my ears to hear you say, teachers, robbing taxpayers' dollar. Because... With all these you, fancy cakes. You didn't work. And these <coughs> fancy <coughs> yachts. Yeah, but that's, that's, that's beside the point. And you're telling me... Look here. That we who if, earn if we, if, the if, vacation if we, break. If we were to compare the cost of the cake to the accumulated cost. <laughs> it can't measure. Every summer. Can't measure. Right? Every summer. All, well, all the, the teachers get that, that pay. All the tax, t taxpayers that are going to that they should not go into. For, for, from, from years gone by and years now nah. and coming, we need, we years need to come. To, we need to You're have telling me a reclassification or a, re, a, re, a revised, wicked, oh wicked. a review of the pay. Because wicked, look, oh wicked. after look, all we do because with Momo more for pay. During the summer. Hey? After well, all the hard work we put in with Momo and the hard work we will put in for Nezaya, yeah, for but, the pep. Yeah, but there's a difference. You're telling us. No, there's a difference. It's a wicked it's a pep. It's a prep school. There's a difference. May, may have pay enough for that? All right, I'm not pay for the holiday where they take. I'm not pay for nothing for the holiday where they take. I'm only pay for, oh, for, for, for what they call it, semester one, I said, him? Yeah, semester one, two, two and three. three yeah. Right. But you are get paid for semester four where you're not going to school, go do nothing. Which is right. Right. So We need to regroup. We need to gain back our sanity, regain no, our sanity. You need. We need to, to regain our strength. Be quiet, Dad, Road. Let me focus. Focus. We need to get back our sense of self. We need to refine and reclaim who we are because you we lost ourselves. To be We've lost charged. our minds. You need to be surcharged. We've lost our minds through in the classroom for the eight, seven to eight months that we've been there with these kids. You know, they have driven right. us over the board. All right, fine. I have a suggestion. They have driven us over the wall. I have a suggestion. Up the wall, down the wall. They have driven us under the cellar. I have a suggestion. I tell you, brother. I tell you. And I we love them still in a And I'd like a I vote you. on this one, people. On the WhatsApp. It's why I kid and I like you. Right? <laughs> I want Cassidy listen, Cassidy, listen to this. I'm going to tell you if I'm being unreasonable here. Make he answer you. Make he right? answer you. I want to vote Are we in, in here now? on this, you? what I'm suggesting. That all the persons out there, the jobless persons out there over the years, who for the entire year, mm. who have had to do without any form of salary remuner remuneration, despite trying your endeavor best to get a job would have they tried getting a teaching job would you would you or wouldn't you agree that mm -hmm. for that month and a half or two months teachers should give up that salary to persons who aren't working if one really say 
<laughs> teacher's <laughs> life is cut off because they're on holiday. Mm? And teacher forgot go hungry. After they got hungry many days in a school, forget well, get free for the they get free lunch money. And, and you use up the, 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 if teachers, the fridge and the stove at school. If teachers use fridge, yeah, yeah, must they they not up? buy food for them picnic. And if teachers should not get paid so they can go yeah, and have canteen. a nice little... Um, you know the canteen food? A nice little Chinese dinner. Or a nice so little um, Japanese dish just to treat themselves. When if teachers the shouldn't summer, get paid to go to them pedicure to relax their not tired during feet, the summer. let me see who out there who has never been taught by a teacher yeah, no. and who has <laughs> never appreciated the summer holidays. Text, take your fingers and text in and say, a teacher should not get paid in the summer. Let me see. Hold on up. Which no. heartless. You left something out. Heartless. The pay that a teacher would have gotten so would should be given yes to, to a that. jobless person. They need to go and find a job that will pay them. No. If they are jobless and they can't get paid, we are jobless, so we should get paid. They are trying to acquire Cassidy, the same. Should the teachers we agree. should the teachers Cassidy because they get a the time to rejuvenate themselves in the holiday should they stay home and die from hunger go through starvation yeah, get too extreme with and it, not with be it, able to uh, feed uh, it, their yeah. children and their families because they're on holidays are you saying they should not get any pay for that oh Cassidy <laughs> I love you so much <laughs> Half a pay. Half a pay to do what we Reasonable. Pay. What's we going to do with it? I'm going to beat up Cassidy, Gracie. <laughs> and I see Celia texting you. Let me hear what my wise guidance counselor has to say on the issue. Because I know she knows what she's talking about whenever she opens her mouth. <laughs> Daddy Road. Lick him head. <laughs> Are him on something. Thank you, Celia. <laughs> Put him in a classroom for a term. Simple thing. No, Celia, a term. One hour. And see if he would still have the same views. Hmm. I say, Eve, and uh, not, not, not prep school. No prep school. Cho, <laughs> no prep school for Cho. Regular, public, mainstream classroom. Mm -hmm. Just one hour. Celia, no one term. Him never last a term. Him going shrink, shrink, shrink. And, and, and turn match his stick. And Cassidy, listen, <laughs> listen, listen. Have a caller, please, sir, on the 453. Good night, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. Good night, lady. Yes, sweetie. I want to first withdraw and apologize. Yes, ma'am. For my text. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I don't drink alcohol, and so I just had some red wine. Yes. I had a little bit too much. Red wine, good for you. Yeah, but I had a little bit too much while I was texting. Oh, <laughs> I have seen stuff come to my senses and I've decided to withdraw. Yes. But on a serious note. Yes, ma'am. Lift my hat to teachers. Definitely, sweetie. Thank I you. I could never, ever Thank you. do what you all do. Thank you, honey. I want to let persons also know that while the summer holidays are on, mm -hmm. you all have lesser plans to do. Yes. And you all have a whole nother bag of things to but do. But they don't do it. Be quiet. Be quiet. Mm -hmm. and here, I thought you were in the studio alone. I, I, I thought I was doing them. Okay, all right. So as I was saying before you <laughs> Yes. I go to some schools sometimes, just probably to participate in devotion. Yes. And before I leave there, I'm like, Mm-hmm. Like, literally feel like, Rrr. Yes. And so I can tell you that I could never do what yes. you all do. Yes. And so while my job is very a very challenging one. Yes. I you know, in its own way, I I I could never compare myself with teachers. Yes. And so let me just say unapologetically that teachers indeed should get the pay that they're getting during the summer holidays. And probably more too. Some people that you know, stay <laughs> along the sidelines and get gifts of you know, if of of an exorbitant nature and cost. Yes. And so on and so forth. Teachers should be paid even whilst they're on holiday because 
I want to salute you all. You do do an awesome job. Oh, yes, sister. In compar- and, and to be honest, there are a lot of children who come to school, no lunch money, no... Yes, and man. And move on them face and all kind of things. And, and to be... You want to tell you, us as parents, we miss school during the summer day. Because a lot of us use the school as daycare center. It's true. It's daycare for true, mama. Daycare center, it's honey. It's a daycare center. So, with all we love with children, we don't <laughs> like summer day because... We honestly feel that they belong to Uno. I don't know if you take the crosses or the problem and all of these. Yes, true, true. And so I want to, you know, I don't want to follow any bad company tonight. True, no bad company in studio. Right, I'm right, right. I'm not easily influenced. I don't follow a lead. And so I'm saying, yes. I commend you as a teacher. Thank you, I honey. And I think you deserve the holiday and I think you deserve it with me. Amen, sister. Praise My name Jesus. Is Green. I am a sergeant of police and I endorse this message. That's right. The views expressed are those of DG oh, Angel. That's the film. <laughs> that's the film, yes. <laughs> All right, DG, thank you so much. And thank you to Celia, definitely. Can I tell you that, boy, with job no normal, may I tell you? So, and 18 years in the classroom, I can tell you it's no normal. So being that, um, I don't know, I don't know, daycare work during the summer, I want to get paid for then. For daycaring ourselves. Why? Why would? I, why do I need to pay for work not being done? We are on call. No, you're not. That's what we are told. And if my ministry says I'm on call, I'm on call. So you be quiet. To do what? Okay, to come and to do. Oh, God and then forbid, call you every call day. We do. <laughs> <laughs> Look and listen. He's not so nice. Look tonight, my peeves. True. I, I need to true, talk. True, I, need, I, need, true. I, I need to talk about this pep thing after the break. Yes. Right. Okay. The time is now ten o'clock. It's brought to us by VJ Printing Services, and Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. We're so forward. Yep. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. Good day, driver. You notice that you're parking in a no parking zone. You know, so you can get a ticket for this, sir. Really, officer? But just want to pick up some hardware supplies, you know. Do me a beg you. Give me a blind, huh? So if you need hardware supplies, why you don't go to Ramtula Super Center and hardware? Ramtula Super Center and Hardware, 34 Folly Road, Port Antonio, Portland. We stock a wide range of products at the best prices in town. At Ramtula's Hardware, experience the three C's, comfort, competitive prices, and convenience. Ramtula Super Center and Hardware opens 8 a.m. to midnight, seven days per week. Call 715-5132. Email ramtulasupercenter at gmail.com. Remember, we have the best prices in town. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook, Styles FM 96.1. Don't miss the adrenaline rush with the musical ingenious Digital T. Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artists and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8 p.m. Come, Styles FM. Digital T. Our brain. Look, man. Business operators, local and overseas. This announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. 
So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world listens. Planning a party? Club night out? Stage show? A gospel concert? Or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Oh, Lord. Welcome back, y'all. Mm-hmm. So, Pep. Yes, the pepper. Yeah. Um, the results. Yeah. Wh- What's what, your take? What's... I think it's... Um, let me tell you something. <laughs> I don't like to feel as if I can't think critically. Mm-hmm. And the way all things are being done in relation to Pep, it gives the impression that... It gives me the impression that I'm stupid. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, <laughs> how do I know after all that teaching and um, actually being a part-time teacher? Mm-hmm. And then not to know the result that my child get. To feel comfortable that whatever range mm-hmm. she's in. As in numerically speaking? Yes. Mm-hmm. That she has really and truly performed well. Okay. Now, <clears throat> what's, the, what's the grade range? It's a very good question. Oh, yeah. What's, what's the grade range? What makes my child, um, whatever, exceptionally proficient, if that's the word that mm, they use? Highly proficient. Highly proficient. Mm-hmm. What grade does she have to get, the grade range, to become? To become highly proficient. Highly proficient. Good question. Um, and, and what is it? As it what, yeah, I just said the range um, up to between which band which of band? numbers? Is it, is, is it um, 85 to 100? Right, you wonder. And so how, 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 well, well, from how what I gather, for, for my child now, for mm-hmm. example, if we say, guess what, I can't afford to send it to school. And you would have normally known the child would have been qualified for a scholarship as a result of performance. Mm-hmm. When you have a grade range where kids are now going to fall within that category, mm-hmm. it means that everyone would be highly proficient or otherwise. Mm-hmm then how would you determine who gets the scholarship and who doesn't get the scholarship? Since you're not working anymore Any with, with a, a grade. Numerical grade. So, in hindsight, mm-hmm. it would say to me, if your child get it, there's some prejudice. Because my child also is highly proficient. Mm-hmm. So I'd like for it to be known what grade did my child get. I agree with you. The other part about it now is that someone knows a grade, (laughs) right? Or a set of people knows the grade. They might not know the grade, what everyone gets. But if I'm a marker, Mm -hmm. I would know the grade that Omar Lewis got for him to be. No, Omar Davis Jr. 
got, got to become got, proficient? Or? Got 75, I know that. I might not know Omar Davis Jr. But because I marked that paper, I know that Omar Davis Jr. got 75. No. Say, for example, as I said, 85 to 100 makes you highly, highly proficient. proficient. And a child gets 84. What's the next terminology? Proficient. Low, proficient. Lower. The next one down on the yeah. ladder from highly proficient, proficient. proficient. So the child made an error. One error. Huh? One error. And lost a mark. And lost a mark. So you are not highly proficient. Is it a danger? Yeah. I'm seeing it. What's the next one? Um, developing. Developing. Mm -hmm. And say, for example, developing starts from 65, 64 down. Mm -hmm. Because proficient would be from 65 to 84. Good, no, it wouldn't be so much, probably in the 50s. Right? Yeah, no. beginning, <clears throat> I presume 0 to 20 something. Right. 25 to like 40 odd. Is the which, developing which, which 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 I know from school time. Yes, that's the pass mark. Right. The pass mark well, would have a, been the A would have been eighty-five no, and up. The pass mark would have oh. been fifty. Fifty, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, anything below fifty, you fail. <laughs> so whatever, I have the pretty word. Mm -hmm. But some of the terminologies are damaging because you still have the kids who get into panic attack when it comes definitely, to exam. Definitely. Some get sick. So many variables right? that contribute so to how they perform. When the child now gets a result of what's one of the low ones? Um, beginning or developing. Or developing. And you know your child has greater potential. So we don't know what that grade range is. Well, I don't know. What that grade range is, it's just like a week before the result. Yeah. Oh, this is what we're going to do. Yeah, I, I, now, I, was, I was wondering about that. No, here's what I have a major issue with. The people who are being the trainers mm -hmm. are also a part of the markers. Mm -hmm. And if they are training us or teaching us, growing our kids to become open and honest, <laughs> right? How is it that with the, par the particular thing that we all judge our kids by, grades, proficiency, we're covering up, being, in my opinion, deceitful, deceptive. I don't like it. What I noticed what I noticed on the papers um, for some of the kids, you see scores ranging from like, I've seen a lot of 200s, low 200s, mid, high, 300s, <coughs> and so on. Mm -hmm. And I'm told that <coughs> the marker, the highest marker will be 400. I, I don't know how the paper was marked All right. for uh you to... For a child to accumulate, say, 275. Because here's the, oh, no. the, here's the issue that, that I have with that high grade, whatever, how you reach 400 or whatever it is, right? Mm. These grade 6 kids never got the opportunity for that grade 4 and grade 5. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. They never got that, got that opportunity for this grade system that you're saying you, you're, you are being marked from grade 4. Mm -hmm. One other thing about it is that I'm not certain as to maybe I don't understand what a developing brain or a developed brain is mm. and what we are supposed to know or understand whilst we grow. But what I'm sure about is that at certain age, a child starts to know how to get into a tantrum. At a certain age, a child, a child starts to know when he or she you know, get the sweet and how they behave in order to get the sweet mm -hmm. because the child brain is studying and developing mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. Not being taught how to, but by nature, nature's way. Yeah. 
Now, you're, you're saying to me that it's a reasonable thought to make an assumption or there will be an expectation that, that a child at age 8, 9, 10, 11, to be thinking at a certain level, especially the way how we are taught. Mm -hmm. You in my opinion, we are probably 15 years behind what the expectation mm -hmm. should be today. <laughs> because what the government is doing, in my opinion, is trying to create new people. Right? With the same... No, no. No. Little or no resources. Oh, thank you. Um, hold on, hold on. Before socialization, you get education, or lack thereof. Be, be, before Public education, refined. or lack thereof. Before you get there, how behind is Jamaica as a developed, not developing, developed country? Have we crossed that mark as yet? We are developing. Okay. That's why I said, how far behind are we? Okay. As a developed country. Ah, no, no. The way in which we are being taught, or mm -hmm. supposed to be, be, um, be taught, you can't expect to teach a child critical thinking and then go into high school into the current high school system because mm -hmm. the high school system now is not designed for right, critical, critical thinking continuance. Yeah. So I'm trying to figure out what is the objective. You can't take seven year old and eleven year old and then when them left this so, and forgot high school. They go in reverse. It's a step backward. Yeah. So, whoever the genius is, right, that come up with it, me say, up to the point. But in my opinion, we are 15 years where our expectation of what these kids ought to become. Because straight up, you know, when me start this, you know, I say, well, like, we're creating some Terminator. <laughs> We are creating some human terminator. Maybe, maybe in the IT world, mm -hmm. are we supposed to be Nobel Prize winners? They're create Nobel Prize winners, and nobody kid no more not supposed to be no um no daddy road. Everybody's <laughs> supposed to be a certain sect of creation. But what right? you see the, the now, what are we? What are we suggesting about this generation now that is running and ruling and thinking we are all common and trans pitney? Mm. There's no G sat pitney right now with our own place. Mm -mm. I mean, no, so as common and trans pitney, when we left Jamaica and got far in, you realize, hey boy, we the far ahead. I went for them to do a far in. Yep. Yep. And arguably, the English system of teaching would have been more advanced than the United States. That's something where we understand for a long time. Yeah. That's why enough people prefer figure out UK. Mm -hmm. So, may I try to figure out, fine, we want people to think a certain way, but please may I ask you, look back upon some of the examples them. Check out too, because there are things where come at my yard, and me show my daughter, and me have to tell my daughter, say, where the teacher, I tell him, not right, because, oh, <laughs> me certain 200%, till my daughter get confused. Mm. Because what she's been taught in lesson is different from what she's been taught in the class, and when it come up to my yard, it's different too. Mm -hmm. So it's difficult for the child to make the association to eat. Because we are also trying to adapt to certain things. No more I know which picnic out there know about farm. What if you tell them picnic about farm? All them know about about farm are Baba, Black Sheep and Old MacDonald. 
There are actual kids, some kids who will work, some kids. work in the farm. Some kids. No, we're not supposed to teach for some. True, true. And as you said that, at one point we saw a question that had some different type of dogs. Oh and, no, we, we don't know that about no dog. Honestly, we know the, about the, grandma's own dog. We talk about, <laughs> we wondered as it relates to the culture. As, how many of our kids? Sponge. How many our kids are familiar with the names of the dogs? The names they couldn't even call, and the images on the picture <clears throat> on the on, on the paper weren't even representing. You know what this real dog in what to a dog, dog they look like goat where you can't take me run um curry goat mongrel, regular mongrel and something you talk about, they had rat wheeler and they had another one we can't even pronounce the name some double a word funny name woof woof and a woof woof <laughs> the dog a woof woof <laughs> but the kids were you know just not familiar and the other problem i have is that there are students they keep sending on or the kids are expected to be promoted to another grade when they have not mastered even reading literacy at the grade level. At the grade level. So you find that a child will move on and, and on and on and reach grade I'd, five I'd, or I'd grade really, six. I'd really and they're like at the grade know, two, grade three level. I'd like to know what was the issue with, with GSAT. GSAT. Right? And I'd like also to know what was the issue with common entrance. Um, this... All right, let me show you something. Pep, performance. All right, all right, all right. Let me, let me show you something now. Zane? It, it, it's, a, it's a state Pep, thing, you know. Tell me, the, tell me what acronym you mean. Primary exit profile. What the hell is that? They prepare a profile from grades four, five, and six. For My child. girl. I'm when, only telling you what they said. Sistrin, we just know about tests. <laughs> so what Tess. they're saying is, instead of giving this child... Primary on, exit what, profile. What, what, instead of giving I this child this one test at grade six, that covers all the content area, well, concepts from grades four, five, and six. Which, which, is, what, which is what the PEP was. What does that mean? Grade six achievement test. Test. Yes, yeah, so I'm saying what Tess. the PEP did, what the PEP did was to cover concepts and content area from grades four, five, and six in one exam. What they want to do now is put each grade, at each grade level, the child is just going to be focusing on performing at the grade four. And when they move on to grade five, their testing will be based on whatever is done in grade five. And at grade, when they reach grade six, the testing will be based on what they've done in grade six. Mm -hmm. That's what was said. I find, though, that, for example, performance task, where the child gets pass, for example, in language arts, they'll get passages to read and to carry out whatever task is given, whether it's a letter to the editor or you know, a friendly letter, inviting a friend somewhere or designing a poster, whatever the task is. And then you find that they'll use, say, a content area or that is not related to language so much or mathematics. They might use, if, if, you're, if the child did, no, they might use, say, um, nutrition. At grade six, no, the child did not do anything in nutrition at grade six. And some parents and some teachers might be contending that, why give a child a passage that has nothing to do with what they did at the grade level? However, in for language arts, you can give and take with that, because in language arts, what they're really measuring is how well this child understands how to write the letter. So it doesn't matter what content you give them from in language arts, whatever um, whether it's from a science passage or it's a social passage about weather and climate, whatever you give them on, the, what is being measured is how well they can write the letter, having the dates, paragraphing, punctuation, sentence structure, and paragraph construction, all of that. That's what they're marking for. But I do understand, Rude, the concept of trying to get the kids to make an association with what they learn and applying it to real life situations. I get that and I applaud that. But really and truly my greatest contention is the culture and how much this exam, how it fits the culture that our kids are from and what they're, as you said, what they're learning, what they're growing, what they know about. And my other contention is how quickly the grade six, the current grade six children were expected to perform 
you know, their best at critical thinking when they've know, only gotten like eight months or less you know, to prepare. As far as I recognize, we are not um, we are not some persons are not willing to accept failure. Not if not, no. if, not if not if it's there if it's a personal um. no no we must reach that point where we know that failure is a part of life mm -hmm. and when you fail there's a thing that they call lemons cycle of continuous improvement and I'd ask anyone to look that up just type in continuous improvement and you'll see it come up. Lemon cycle of continuous improvement. Plan, do, check, act. It's a cycle. And I challenge one of my professors that you cannot have continuous improvement. Improvement must be continual in the sense of how the principles of plan, do, check, act. Mm -hmm. Right? Because the moment you have to check what assessment you've done, what, mm, what you, have, you have done, evaluate, evaluate what you have done yeah. before. It means you have probably peaked. And if you're going to add something to it, for it to improve, it must be continual. Yeah. And as against continuous. continuous right. Presently, I'm, I'm not certain if they are doing that type of evaluation now. Because in the, in the general populace opinion or suspicion, mm -hmm. majority of the kids have performed below standard. Therefore, the grades cannot be made known. Many are, are of that view. And this is where the cover-up should have said, look, or the person has said, look, no, we don't have nothing to cover up. See the grade, yeah, and shut up all the way. And so I don't, I don't buy the view that this is, this is now the international standard and we're just one country and say, well, we're going to do something different because we're different. Which standard is that internationally? Which country mm -hmm. doesn't give kids their grades? And which Majority of countries, since it is a standard now, mm -hmm. how would you ask a child for a, for a transcript then? How do, how do we provide a transcript for these kids now? Beginner, developing, proficient, highly proficient. And what does that mean <laughs> to the, the, the school that's going to receive the transcript to determine if they want this child in, if the, the child, in, in their... If the child gets proficient and highly proficient, then they take them. If they don't, then I guess they don't take them. So, and that's the internationally accepted standard. Mm, makes you wonder. Makes you wonder. People, me fool, but me not so fool, you know. <laughs> I don't like it. I really don't like it. Let us know. Take the, take, take the cousin. If the kids are not performing well, because a lot of, a lot of parents... We are jump for joy now. Mm -hmm. It's almost like them get what they want here, mm -hmm. but really and truly, we don't know if our kid is a 75% kid. And some sad to say don't ver care. Versus a 90% kid. I think so. Sad to I say, agree. some of the parents. They're just don't glad to say, boy, they they're they glad the boy they picked the pass. That, oh, they're placed here and they're wondering, oh my God, he was placed there. And because but but other is it genuine? Are, exactly. Other children who might be performing at a much higher level are placed at the same place, they think it's like, like a sugar coating for them. It's almost, say, so boy, oh, then the pitney never have to kill out himself, so they like, yeah, like, like, like um, cast the pitney. And it's sad, though, that they are, they're of that... Um, but it is what is presented. Perception. It is what is packaged and given to people. Oh, when I gain a grade because this is the international standard and so on and so forth. And it, 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 no, listen. Not telling me that a week before, telling w me that when, a week before the exam results come out was just crazy. When, for me, it's when, 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 unacceptable. What encouragement is that then for even any, any child? 
them go through class tests, and class tests are giving them grade. But when they reach the final exam, now they now get no grade. Mm -hmm. You know, you know what I see happening. In, in my opinion, kids. we are denying the kids their rights. You know what I saw happening. Kids didn't even want to know whether they got. Oh my God, I'm I'm beginner at this level. They weren't concerned about that. They weren't concerned about how many proficiency levels they got or highly proficient. All they wanted to know was which school Who, they were go. placed at. And that, and, and, and that is where, similarly, yeah. right, I realize that every year now, right, which school them pick me yeah. go. And you know what now, Cassidy? It's just like with, 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 um, with weddings. The wedding is no more important than the marriage. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> we spend, that's, we're stepping backward, ain't it? It, yeah, but it's true. <laughs> People place more emphasis on, on the, the wedding. On the day coming off well for on the, the wedding. On the wedding. to be And impressed. not on true. the marriage. The life itself. Yeah. And the same thing now. The same exact thing. Which school may have been passed for go and not the, not the grade. Oh, well, yeah. The performance. You know, how well you've performed. Mm. Oh. Heart wrenching, ain't it? All right. No, I'm going no answer. I don't even know right now. It, 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 is, it is depressing. And right? as you said that, it also gives the kids a very false sense of accomplishment. It's a false sense of accomplishment. Yeah. False. It can't false no more. We can't tell you. One of my things is how... And you know, I have nothing to do with that one. Okay. And may I say this. Okay. Really and truly, Cassidy, how proficient are some of the, the persons who are teaching these kids. You know if you have nothing to do with that question. I that, won't. Right? How proficient. <laughs> I certainly won't. Because they were not taught or trained to impart the information this way. Was enough time given to a workshop? Can't do it. <laughs> And I'm proficient enough to say it's now 10.30. Yeah. <laughs> the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Service, says, and Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Stick around. More Real Talk when we come back. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 893-2266 Big call, just bring it It's a cool effect, dressed appropriately for the occasion Come more than likely I'm gonna get wet June 13, the 30th of June 2019 Place to be marking Stone Beach and not to be a St. Mary Music by Magnificent One alongside Foodie Blocks There's gonna be a special guest selector Big call, just bring it Cool effect, Sunday, June 30 Marking Stone Beach and not to be a St. Mary And the invitation this may I give out Admission 1000 with the glue, 500 without. The most anticipated party of the summer is back. Styles FM, Fan Fusion Party, Episode 6, Drunken Masquerade. Saturday, July 13, 2019, at the Bayview Waterfront Property, Oysters Bay, Port Antonio, Jamaica. Come here, Styles FM's finest DJs, juggling retro hits from the 70s, 80s, 90s, and early 2000s. Admission 700 pre sold. 1000 at the gate, VIP 3500. Styles Ebo 6000. Party starts at 7 p.m. sharp. Listen to Styles FM for ticket outlets or call. 876-518-2399 Fan Fusion Party Drunken Masquerade Dress tropically elegant Fan Fusion is not just a party It's an experience Must be 18 years and older to enter ID required Drink responsibly Fan Fusion Planning a party? Club night out? 
stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event, let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Are you sick of living an average life and tired of just getting by? Do you want to take your life to the next level? Learn the secrets of the super successful. Listen to Power in a Half Hour with Coach Mark this and every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Learn the habits of the super successful and how to make these habits work for you. Learn to turn your dreams and desires into reality. You can win in the game of life. Let Coach Mark show you how every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Native Audio Stage and Lighting now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium sized events whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting you name it, we'll bring it to life call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531 Native Audio Stage and Lighting a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude The views expressed on this program are not necessarily Necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Welcome yep. back to the show. And I'm seeing Rambo for the first time in a long time. Good night, Schwarzenegger. Rambo, mm-hmm. good night to you, Darren, in New York City. I have no doubt my daughter, he says, uh, our performance, of our performance, because she has always been an A student. All right, good, 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 good. And I've always been in the top five in our grades. Congratulations to you, Daron, and keep on motivating your little one. Alrighty, so guys, we're gonna go to our Vox Pop tonight. And I dare you, I dare you to sit down there and be quiet. Hmm. Eh? I dare you to not sit down there and be quiet. You need to get up, get the phones. And text in on this one tonight. So here we go with our Vox Pop for the 28th of June 2019. Ubakaba, Abakaba. Legalize or don't legalize? Hmm. Akanai Unda. Science again. If Obia were to become a legal act, would you be comfortable to openly visit a reader man or a mother woman without fear of being stigmatized or condemned? Would you associate yourself with family or friends who practice Obia? How seriously would you take it if someone says to you, May we obey you, know? <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, our Vox Pop, you've just heard it, and I will repeat and paraphrase for you. Ubakaba, abakaba, legalize or don't legalize. If Obia were to become a legal act, if they were to pass the act, yes, after several amendments, that it's no longer an illegal act, you're free to practice as you so desire. And by the way, this is the act from, I think it was 18, 1898. Yeah? It has been illegal from then. Mm-hmm. Would you be comfortable to openly, vi- openly visit a reader man or a mother woman or whatever it is you call them, yeah? Or whichever other fancy name they get. Would you be willing and comfortable to openly visit these people without fear of being stigmatized or condemned? People can say, no, sir. She believe in her obia. I believe in her obia. I never deal with any people there. Would you be open and be willing to, you know, visit these people without people 
stigmatizing you as someone associated with Obia or even calling your Obia, Obia man yourself, or Obia woman. Yeah, would you be fearful of people condemning you, not want to associate with you in society? And we'll go back to the Vox Pop quickly, Cassie. And the other part, would you associate yourself with family or friends who practice Obia? So you know, so your auntie or your uncle, your mother or your father, sister or brother, grand aunt, whoever, they're practicing this act. Yeah? And if it is that it's legalized, would you be, as, be willing to associate yourself with them and I go visit my auntie down the road where we work Obi. You know me, Obi auntie man, I go visit her right now for get her free reading. Would you be willing <laughs> to associate yourself with the family and friends who practice this? Hmm. And part three, how seriously would you take it if someone say, we will be a you, you know? I mean, we will be a you. Do you say, sure? Believe, kill and believe, cure them, can't do me nothing, but covered under the blood. And me am afraid I know Obi man and Obi woman because me secure, me safe. How seriously would you take it though? Would you go and report it to the station? Mm, I mean, it's, it, it, would be, it would have been legalized. So I guess people would be free to do what they want to do. How seriously would you take it though? Would you see it as a threat? Would you feel fearful? Would you, would you feel stressed? Would you want to try to defend yourself and to protect yourself? And what would you do if you had to do any such thing? Hmm, interesting. So ladies and gentlemen, the phone lines are open, you know. And of course, the local number is 876-453-1444. And the international connection is 954-338-7973, if you wish to partake so i dare you tonight to call in text in share your views on this three-part vox pop all right hmm. no for me hear the word ob we get fearful so the obia just sound one way it make you feel well i mean you know what about this but me just feel one way and it just sound one way and boy, may I tell you. Make a start from the bottom up. If somebody say, Bro. yes, from the bottom up. We have, I think, Dandan on the line, I'm not sure. But good night, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. Oh, yeah, picture phone. I, I, I know your number, sir. Ish. <laughs> <laughs> good night and welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Tell me, sir, what's your take on our Vox Pop tonight? I would love to hear a few of you, Mass. I'm in Ally. First off, I'm going to ask that question. Um, <laughs> the, fear that, the, fear, the fear that you have for, for the O word, but is, is it a fear that, that, that like, from, from birth or from you know yourself? From me know myself and or understand what that concept is. Okay. Based on and our culture and how I've heard, uh, the things I've heard about it, yes. Okay. And because even if I never hear nothing, the word alone does sound right. It does sound good. I know a pretty word. Okay. <laughs> because then, then give you something. It's, it's, basically, it's basically unknown to the average person, right? Yes. What, what them, what them do. All right. All right. You say, um... Sometimes, hey, that's a rule. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes I watch some, some football match on TV, you know. I am see the man in the next square goal. I am see the make a, some thing across and then chess. The, I think that's some father, father thing or castle thing. Right? <laughs> yeah, some cross thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. No, no. Um, <laughs> I have no idea um, what that well, is. Well, uh, what means them thing that, them thing that looks scary to me. Okay. But then... But then you see, but then you see it so often. It's that so it's often become that like a, a, an that, accepted you know, norm. Onto a sense of, well, all right, it's it, 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 something almost normal now. Mm -hmm. All right. So then, yes. Um, what the people in the the, the other world do, obviously, it don't, it don't come out to the. To the, to the general public on mass so people so most people don't don't have an idea what them 
um, what, what, you know, the rituals that can go through. Mm-hmm. All right? No. Where where these where these guys go through and this, or the Catholic thing go through, it it could be it could be in a, in a, the same boat, you know. AKA a scam, to, uh, to, to, to give you some sort of you know, protection, mm-hmm. good luck, or I don't know I don't know what it is. You know, protection or good luck or, or something. Mm-hmm. So 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 then if that if that is acceptable in mainstream, if what the Catholics do or the the guys who want to see will profess them things. If, if what that is do is mainstream and, and it's acceptable, why would not why would this not be acceptable? So you're saying or it should be, it should be legalized? Yet? That's not wrong with it. Oh, where is it? Yeah, well, why should why should it, why should it, why should it not be, be legalized? All right, so give me give me the reason why it should be now. Well, for for for, for no for no other reason. Than, than if you accept. If no, you tell accept me about the, what uh, the Catholic them put the cross on yeah, their chest yeah. and the Anglicans. That, Don't you, tell if, me if, about if, that, if, Dan Dan. That could not be a reasoning enough. That could not be a reasoning enough. That is um, a form of religion and their practices. Outside of religion, Dan Dan, why do that's you think that this should be legalized? Well, 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 that's, a, that's a religion, right? That is an, a, an aspect of people's religion that they practice that. The significance the of I that. Be, I believe system, right? And I'm, um, pardon me? A religion is, is loosely loose is defined as a, a sort of a belief system, correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. So then, 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 then look here. The people them who, 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 who patronize the, the other people, you don't think that is a belief system for them? And despite it being a belief, what is the and, and, what is and, and, the and, and purpose? Well, I know, well, I know, what is the purpose of this act most or people, practice? But well, I know, I know, I know this, you know. Most people who, who, who go to the other man, you know, are Christian people, you know. <laughs> this, you know. Do you have any evidence of that, sir? Do you have any statistical have any? information All on right. that, sir? Any empirical evidence, sir? If you don't, it is not valid, sir. No, but, 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 I mean, sir, you I cannot make any, an assumption of that nature. So, so, so I have no idea, but, but. So you need to but. refute that statement, sir. No, no. You no. can't say that most of the people who go to Obia people, or oh, um, reader men and women, are okay. Christians. You cannot say that, sir, without right. some in form a, of right. evidence. In a Jamaica, in a Jamaica. Neither can you say that, sir. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. In a Jamaica. No, I bet, sir. More than ninety percent of Jamaica. No, you're guessing, sir. Claim claim Christianity as their religion. Right? No. Let's do the numbers, you know. You know what tell me, sir? If ninety percent of the people who go to to, to, to see Hold on, hold on, hold on, Dan Dan. Stick up in. You just made two different statements. You said not yes. you're betting and you're guessing that ninety percent of the people in Jamaica claim Christianity as their religion. Prior to yes. that, you said that most of who go to the Obia men are Christians. Yes. Now, yes. in our culture, they're not necessarily one in the same because people, no. uh, as a country, we are said to be of a Christian um, belief, yeah? Or we're a Christian yes. country. Now, it yes. doesn't mean that everybody lives the Christian life or walks the Christian way mm-hmm. in its entirety. So please clarify your two statements because when you said that most of the Obia men are Christians, I am interpreting mm-hmm. that, and many people are too, I'm interpreting that, sir, to mean that the people who practice religiously this religion are the ones who go to the Obia men and women and not the people Peep, the average person who are from a Christian country who do so, sir. All right, all right. now listen to this now. <clears throat> um, I know people personally, yes, who, who basically they might make they kind of thing, um, um, like like confession, something like confession thing, right? Mm-hmm. Right, but 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 them claim, sir. You know, them go to them, go to them people are uh, to get some sort of fixing or some sort of whatever. All right? Mm-hmm. And 
them people that will tell me this. I mean, I don't think I don't reason for lie. Yes. Them people eh, are, are staunch Christian people. Eh. Okay. When we, when we know personally. So, 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 so what I tell you, sir, everybody who me, who mean, who, who, who have, you know, you, you know, in, in general conversations, when I talk mm-hmm. to people and them say, them do this or, or them believe in it, you see? 99% of them people, eh, know, are Christian. Okay, sir. So, if me know that, I think I think I can I can extrapolate from that, um, albeit a small um, segment um, of the population. I can extrapolate from that, and make, and make, and make a claim that most other people who go to other other man are Christian. Are Christians who not, go to church and praise America. Jesus. And that's why that's why I can I can make that statement with confidence. Yes, I'm asking the ones who go to church on Sundays or Saturdays I, and I, praise I can't Jesus. Prove it. You know. Dan Dan? Yes. And you're talking about the people who go to church on Sabbaths and Sundays and praise the Lord yes. and worship. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Just just wanted to get that clear, sir. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and I, 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 and and I would dare, to, I would dare to believe that that even the people who, who are preached from the pulpit, I would dare to believe that 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 some of them um, actually patronize these people too. Okay. I would not be surprised. I, I, I don't know of any um, such people who who, who who say that to me. Uh, you know, men don't know of people like that. So but I would not be surprised if people who are on the pulpit um, do that. Okay. Um. So question then, seeing that you just yeah. alluded that you don't see a problem with it being legalized based on the vox pop question would you be comfortable yes. to openly visit one so you come to jamaica on vacation and you say you know what i need a read up and this is what's happening if i'm gonna get a beautiful wife in the future you That's know right. and live hey. live a happy life dan, and get, get rich you try to go after would fan, you after be fan comfortable <laughs> to openly come to jamaica Visit one of those shops that they have their things set up and go in comfortably. And in a fear of no. any stigma or any condemnation. You're good with that? No, no, no. What no. make? No, 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 no. I what make? Are you afraid of? It's not a, come on. It's not, it's not, it's no, not I'm a asking you. What would you be afraid of? <laughs> you said no, no, ain't no, nothing no, wrong no, with no, legalizing no. it because footballers whoa, on the football field whoa. cross them out whoa, and them fired and dot them fired and all these things. So I'm not expecting you to be afraid. No, dear, no, dear. No, dear. The fact that I would not go to one that that doesn't express fear. That that doesn't show fear. Is that I have I would have absolutely no reason to go to one. You wouldn't. I can. No, I. What, okay. But why not? What, 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 what can there I do is for nothing you want to know about yourself. There's nobody out there who is doing you something. You want to just, just, just sort them out Darling. and fix them. <laughs> There's no care. one you want that has a lot of money that you want, want to just have her for the rest of your life and hold on and you're gonna fix her. No, because no, man, this obia on. thing, you know, Dan, get, get, get it straight. Mm. This obia thing is mm. nothing good from what I hear. Mm. The, the principle here. itself and what it's what it does mm. is nothing good. Look here, look here, look here. Hold look on, here. no. Hold on, it's it's nothing positive and uplifting and edifying. So what I want to know is the people who go there. I don't know if it's a case where they go to get, um, you know. <laughs> good health and to, 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 to get maintain good health and blah 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 positive things and to help their falling sisters and brothers and to help those who are in need and to I don't think they're going here for that and based on what we know the history of this thing is and where it's coming from with our um, slave ancestors and the slave masters who used to treat, Ill, treat them and all of that based on history I don't see this as being something good so I'm asking you now, what would yeah. be... You're telling me you wouldn't have any reason to go to one if it were legalized? No, I would not. So if you would have no right. reason to go to one? Darling, you're, all right. Why then ganja, legalize ganja, something like ganja this? Ganja legalized. Ganja legalized. Ganja legalized. Me never smoke it. I'm not because ganja legalized. Me, me have no reason to smoke. 
I mean, I live all my life without smoking ganja not because I legalize never smoke it. So, I, so, I, I still so want you to thing. tell me then the reason behind legalizing an act that speaks to only evil and negativity. <laughs> well, and uh, you, you see, that's, that's, that's the connotation that is evil. Now, do you know, do you know, do you know, tentatively, do you know that that, that, that is evil? Dan, Dan, and which part you come from? No, 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 no. Do you <laughs> know that is evil? And and do you, and do you know that that it is any more evil than 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 what the 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 the, the Catholics do or the or the or the proper people do or the uh, is it is it any more evil than that? You answer I that question, know. Dan, Dan. I don't, I don't know. I don't know because so because if because it I is don't that... I, I, because. Because if you're I saying have, you don't not, know, Dan, Dan, how then? That, that sort of thing, and I have no idea. But, if you have no premise, idea, Dan, 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 how then oh, can you on. compare these two things? No, because my premise, my premise is that, my, all right, growing up, when me I grew up and and hear about them thing, yeah, me just think that is 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 is, a, is another scam, not no gossip. All right, <laughs> that 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 is all, that is all me. That is all me grow. Okay. To this day. And to this day, me if he said, it's a scam to this day. So you think okay. that, okay, so you're saying, for example, if someone were to go to one of these men, he said it's a means of just getting them their money, scamming them, tricking them, giving them some oil, some portion, some rub up, whatever they give them, and to go do this and use what? foul uh, 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 blood and all kind of something me hear about. You're saying that that's a scamming. Yeah, I think, I think, I think it's scamming. So you don't think here. that people actually get hurt or have but gotten why, hurt? But, 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 why, but why should the church have, 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 a, have a dominance over scamming? I mean, the church scam, government scam, why then can't scam too? You're not, oh, so you're for it. Okay, sir. I hear you. <laughs> so would you associate yourself you know, with family I mean, members who you know practice over here? The whole world is a scam, you know. Okay. So, 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 so why why should why should they not get get in, in, in on, on the pie legally? Oh, so that would mean that it would be easy for you. Are for me then? So for you then, you're saying if this were legalized, chances are you just get your rapid and your pencils and your oils and just start practicing the same thing too. <laughs> you might have you might have find find that that it would open up a shop. <laughs> are you meant to talk about? If what if what? You just open a shop then if that's the case then it's no, legalized. No, but, but, but that's it's, it's not of me. I I have no interest in that in, in that. But in, I would expect you to, Dan Dan. If everybody's scamming, why wouldn't you want a piece of the pie? But if what? If everybody's scamming, as you said earlier, why wouldn't you want a piece, yeah. of, the, piece of the pie too? Well, no. All right, it's, it's me now. Uh -huh. well, all right, two of my heroes growing up, worldwide. Three of my worldwide heroes growing up. You see. Marcos Garvey. Yes. Che Guevara. Fidel Castro. Uh -huh. you, see them, you see them people there? Then people come from earth to, to, to try and make life better for everybody else. Okay. Not for themselves. For, the, for, them, for, them, for them life come last. Uh-huh. All right? You see, because those are my heroes, I really, I I I I you know, it is not really my interest to, to try and, and scam people out of them. Okay. That's, that, that, that's not me. Oh, but other people, you're, you're endorsing, legalizing other people doing it. Okay. If what? So you're endorsing, legalizing other people doing it. All right. But, you know, if, if, if the other things are, are legal, why, why not this? I hear you, sir. Let me see. I hear you, sir. Ah, good. <laughs> done, done. Oh, yeah, God. Yeah. May I ask you a question? Eh. You feel you said Jesus had it, had it one obey a man? If what? <laughs> um... Think about all the things that he does, or, or claim to have mm. done. Mm. You think, say, a seance? That's a very, that's a very good question, and I've, I've never thought of it before, thought of the question before. Yeah, I bet you haven't. Huh? I bet you haven't. No, no, but it's a very poignant question, mm. deep question. Or do you th are, are, are you going to be thinking that, oh, maybe it was a scam too, huh? Oh. Eh? <laughs> mm -hmm. no. Listen, listen, listen. Um, if it, 
it, if, if, it, if, it's, if it's recorded, uh, let him turn water into wine and everything there. Um, but not, but not, you know, I don't really see, see any reason to, 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 disbelieve, to, to disbelieve it, even though you're, you know, it's certain, certain things defy explanation, mm -hmm. you know. So, so if, you know, if, if people who experienced the act of Obia told you that they did experience the evil wrath of someone else doing something bad to them, uh, very, would very you believe question. that? Very good question. Would you believe that? Very, very good question. What, what people tell me, say, with an experience, you see? Mm -hmm. I went, I, 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 I went, I went and Peter do for them. <laughs> Just look here. It, it, it is their experience. Yes. I'm, and 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 I am not going to go around and 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 refute people's experience. What, what an experience. Uh huh. So. I'm not going to and, 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 and say them a liar. If, if they believe they experience that, why well, me just have to go? Me have to just have to go, go with them. So, so have man, you so, have you so, spoken? So, so, so that is really a man tell me say why in, in, in the, when Jesus Jesus the boat and him go to the wedding and and there was no wine. I just pure water and in turn water into wine. Just, me, I said not a man experience. Me just have to just have to go go with the word. I'm asking you as it relates to the so, term of obia. If someone yeah. told you that they had a bad experience and somebody did them harm through the act of yeah. Obia, would you say that, look here, man, a scam the man, scam me, not the deal? Not, not All right. I, 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 a I, scam I, the person if, gets if scammed. Me, if, so, if, 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 if you tell me so why, um, people said, said Obia upon you. No, me love. No, no, no. Yeah. No, use me. Do All not right. use me. <laughs> Dan, Dan, no, use me. You something them else. Something upon me, so, 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 me, so me can't pass the exam. Mm -hmm. can't get... Me can't, me, me can't get a woman. Mm -hmm. me, can't, me can't get a work. Yes. If, if, them, if, if, them, if somebody tell me that that them pieces, um, somebody said over upon him like that. Yes. I, 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 I am going to tend to um, to disbelieve him and say, I said to myself that it, uh, it, it, I, I'm in my in mind. It's a, it's a thought process in my virtue. It's a, it's, but why it's, would you? Play tricks with him. What right would you have to tell this man or this person that them lying? Who no, gave no, no, you no, that no, moral no, authority no, 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 than Dan? No, man. You're misinterpreting me, no, man. I nah, never nah, nah, tell him say, I lied to him. What do you ever say? I never say, in myself, no, me, them tell me that. Remember, me just say, you know, what, whatever someone ex dis describes what their experience is. I'm not going to, I'm not going to describe their own experience. But in my own self, never, never cast doubt on that. Okay, because sir. I never say, never say, it's probably mine, I play tr tricks by them. Okay, uh, sir. I'm just, 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 he's just negatively wired. So because I'm negatively wired, there were things that everything negative happened to you. you okay, know? sir. And, and, pe and people are like that. Okay, sir. But 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 I'm not gonna go around and and, and, and refute someone, tell somebody who for them one experience and said say it nah. No, no, that make me I can't, me, me can't speak to someone else's experience. All right, sir. To each his own. If a man tell me, say, if a man tell me, say, if, if, if wake up in the morning and, 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 and see Jesus on the sky and Jesus talk to him, I can't, I can't dis dispute, dispute feeling. All right. You probably, you probably gen gen genuinely experience that. All right, sir. Thank you. That's it. All right, cool. All righty. Um, Nilo in St. Andrew says, listening to Dan Dan, not everyone who goes to church or claim to be a Christian are Christians. They are not fully grounded and washed in the blood of the Lamb. They lack faith. If they really take Jesus as their Lord and their uh, Lord and try their best to abide by his words, they have no need to seek answers from another source. <laughs> All so, right, thank you very much, Nyla, for that comment. Amen to that. All right. Um, here, uh, oh, we're up yeah, on two the minutes, 11 o'clock right. break. It's two minutes past 11 o'clock. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services and Real Talk. It's sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Stick around.
Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 893-2266. Some say that Zika, Dengue, and Chikungunya are found in water and that by drinking the water, we can get infected. But that's false. Zika, Dengue, and Chikungunya are transmitted through the bite of a mosquito that breathes in stagnant water. Protect yourself and your family. DJ Prince just touched down in at the airport. A royal day to everyone. It's showing you with the voice of DJ Prince, your royalty of music selection, represented for my show, your show, Detour, every Saturday night from 8 p.m. to 12 midnight with mixed moves and attitudes. And ladies, don't forget the special detour hour from 11 to 12 midnight. Styles FM, the world listens. You just got to tune in. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook. Styles FM 96.1. Take us to work. Take us on a go. Take us wherever you go. Styles FM. Take Styles FM with you on the go. The number for USA 213-992-4360. That's 213-992-4360. And for the United Kingdom, 033-0010-3322. That's 33 033- 0010-3322 Styles FM Extra, extra, read all about it It's Fan Fusion tickets Yes, pre-sold Fan Fusion tickets are now available at Styles FM Studio, 4 Barmuk Avenue, Port Antonio YKS Pharmacy, West Street Brams, Texaco, Port Antonio Touch Pharmacy, West Street La Best Sports Bar, Port Antonio Trainers Ice Cream Shop, Hector's River All Styles FM DJs have tickets as well Morant Bay, Texaco Also Universal Electrical and Plumbing Supplies Wharf Road, Morant Bay St. Thomas. For more information, call 518-2399. Get your tickets now. Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting. A sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Welcome back to Real Talk, right. ladies and gentlemen. Um, me, me have, um, <laughs> you know, what I kind of find strange a while ago. I'm, I'm, I'm asking anyone can check for me, right? Because, you know, you can find any, you, you ought to be able to find any of the laws of Jamaica on the Ministry of Justice website. So, I went on the Ministry of Justice website and tried to, and type in Obia Act. Mm-hmm. You know what happened? Mm-hmm. You say you can't access it. It's like straight Obia. <laughs> it's black. <laughs> right? Oh, God. So I'm wondering why is it that you can't find the Obia Act on the Ministry of Justice website? You can find practically every law on the website. However, it's from thank from goodness from for the internet. Mm-hmm. From so way back, I guess it's not there. It's nine. It's eighteen ninety eight. Mm-hmm. So it says, and I hope I can read this properly. Zoom it in. Eyes ain't working. I'm just gonna read the the um the definition. Mm-hmm. It says in this law, unless the context otherwise requires, Obia shall be deemed to be of one and the same as myalism. Mm-hmm. I read that too. Now, if you look up myalism, I can't find any defi- definition for myalism. I just started anyway. You're going to myal. So, when the music starts, the drumming starts, and the, yeah, but, the fever lick you. But uh, it says, 
<laughs> if if they says it's the same, if if I'm reading the definition, and it is saying the same as mm -hmm. something else, then you should be able to find it's the definition. Should be. For the other thing. But the ev evoking of the spirits is my, in myalism. That's, not, I don't, that's what it basically is. I don't know. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking at a law that makes reference into another word. No, no, yeah, I'm saying myalism, it being the evoking of the spirits. Mm. And as such, it is said that when the spirits are awakened, so, then they find a, a body. So let me ask you a question. If it's the same as myalism... When me a go in my yard and me spin three times and walk in back way, what me just do? You're just practicing what you believe you should do to protect yourself. So me not make it up a ton to them? Mm-mm, I think so. Oh, me, me, I, 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 I mean, if you evoke the no spirit, I don't even no, 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 no follow you. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, when me read a person practicing Obia mm -hmm. means a person who, to effect any fraudulent mm -hmm. or unlawful purpose, or for gain, or for purpose of frightening any person, mm -hmm. uses <laughs> or pretend to use occult. What's this? Occult means, okay. Mm -hmm or pretends to possess any supernatural power, power. or knowledge. So if I no. say I have yeah, but um, the power or... You yeah, know. But, but, but it says pretends. But what if I do have it? Okay. And how would they determine that you do? They can't, can they? I mean, look for me too hard and make a ton of bullfrog. I want them to you. <laughs> I want them to you. And the first part that you read, though, because I was looking at it too and I, I was seeing all that you're reading now, and it mentioned that if the intent is that of fraud, fraudulent act, mm. or with an intention to what? Hurt? Is that what it, it says? It never said hurt. It says um, for the purpose of gain or frightening mm -hmm. or unlawful purpose. Yes. No. If you hurt somebody, it's unlawful. No, me, me want, no, no, no. When you make a junker walk through the courthouse, that's unlawful or not? <laughs> it should be unlawful. Oh. Uh, uh, uh oh. It, did he come through there naturally? Me no know, you know, no ask me nothing. Me, I tell you what me hear. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what me hear. <laughs> hey, Cass, you can't imagine how this is sitting legalized. Hey, that's what I'm saying. Every man walk free in a pupa. Oh my goodness gracious <laughs> me, oh my. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Instrument mm -mm. of obia means anything used or intend to be used by a person mm -hmm. and pretend by such person to possess any occult or supernatural power. Mm -hmm. So my question again is... Would you consider our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christus, to be, on, based on what this law is saying, an Obia man? I wouldn't. I am, I'm not, I, 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 I'm not going to go because there. Because it's not for gain? No, no, no. And because it's not fraudulent? I am not going to mix. But who determines what? No, but we have to look no, at it. No, I am not going to oh, mix. You're, oh, you no, are not personally, going to. Personally, yeah. I'm not going to so mix him with this. So are you similar? This. Are you similar? To? To what, we, what, what I described as to be those persons covering up the grace for the kids? If you want to compare <laughs> me to them, that's your business. But me not going on the road when me <laughs> go try put the supreme being that I believe exists um, in that capacity. Three three seven nine. We, we, we can't listen to voice notes. Call winner, please. Do me a beg you. Call we. Um, the number is four, four five three. three one triple four. Yes. Or nine five four three three eight seven nine seven three. No, a Jamaica should. A Jamaica should. Okay. Yeah. That's eight seven six. Four five three one four four. And the reason why I say should because it's a female um, DP, Missy. Okay. So I right, must then. okay on the bridge in right, girlfriend. Right, right, right. Or him girlfriend, matey. Okay. 
<laughs> and our birthday. Let's see what Kimo says there, um, Cassidy. Have One call up online. Already? Call is online. Um, Dan Dan is calling back. Hello, Dan Dan. Yeah, yeah, that's the rule. Mm. Part, part, of the, part of the reason why the people them conspire to kill Jesus, you know, I have a cause of, of these powers that, that him are sure that, that them not have, you know. Yeah. So, so what, will, what do you think so, will happen to the people uh, when it's legalized who say they have the powers? No, remember which, remember say... If it, that's the case, what do you think will happen to them? Remember say medieval time, you know, they, 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 they burn the witch, them at stake and all them something there, you know. Yeah. So what you know, do you but, think but will happen to the people now who practice it? If it's legalized, what do you think will happen to the people who practice it? What do you think will happen to them? All right, look, all right. You know, I read something about the the the, the law. The, it, it became illegal in what? 18 something, you said? 18, 19? Eight, no, ago. yeah, 18... Um, 98. That's so? Yes. Okay, all right. 1890. Yeah. 1898. All right. What? So, 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 so before that, so before that, it, it, it was legal, yes? I don't know if it was legal. No, I, can't, I wouldn't say it was legal. I think what yeah, happened... But, but, but well, Andy, well, Andy, if, you, if, if, you, if you make something illegal, that means it was no, illegal. No, no, Dan Dan, no. Oh, God. No. Go on the again, Dan. No, 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 Go on again, brother. Where you say a while ago? No. If you, if you make something illegal, yeah. That means it, it, it was legal at, at, at the time you made it illegal. It must have been legal no, before you, to, before I, you, you can't, you can't look at it like that, Dan Dan. Uh, what happened was the slaves, the slaves were, no, it, based on the history, the slaves were being abused, right? Yes. And they felt that this kind of treatment, they did not deserve this, which, quite frankly, they didn't. And what yes. they did as a means of trying to save themselves were to start practicing this thing, yeah, as it relates to talking to their spirits, ancestral spirits, and so on. And the slaves, slave masters grew fearful of the practice that they were doing. Because they and use them so, Bible. Right. They weren't accustomed to that. And it drove fear into them as the, the, the heads and the slave masters and the plantation owners. And what they right. did were to say, you know what? We need to put it so that these people are not free to conduct this particular practice. So it wasn't a case where it was legalized and then all of a sudden it becomes illegal. No. It was oh, due okay. to the fear that they developed, that they thought that they would use their powers to put a ban on it. Okay. Hence me all saying right. it wasn't a case all where right. it was legalized let's, initially. Let's, let's, let's have a go by, go by what you said. Um... In, all right. In the eighteen nineties, you know, society was um, even in Jamaica was 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 white rule. Yes. Right. And any laws instituted by the whites was designed to protect them, the whites, and 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 not and not the blacks. So, every in, in every dispensation that happens, the the most salient question to be asked is why. Why? Not how, when, or where, but why? Why was this done? And clearly, the reason why they, why they banned this thing was because it a compete. It, it a compete with, with, with them one thing. Just for like them, when for them the, the Bible was banned. <laughs> the marijuana was banned because it a compete a compete the arm with with the Englishman them tobacco. Yes, I can understand where you're saying they banned it because it was. They were against it and they had the power to ban it. Yes. But what yeah, I'm also I, saying I, to I, you, Dan Dan, is I, 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 look at the broader so picture of the act. It's a, compete, it's a compete against them one thing. Yes. But look at the broader picture of the effects of this practice. No, man. Nobody no, man. who has ever no, done no, Obia. No, clear, clear. You see, you get catch, you know. You get catch. Them, 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 them shouldn't think of to try and make you say, look on the broader picture. I think you get no, 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 but I'm smart enough to look at the bigger picture. I'm saying to you, Dan if Dan. you're going to do something that's going to cause harm to other people, then I'm not for it. Whether it was initially um, to protect you themselves, know, I'm, and I'm, I understand I'm that, that. but people have taken it to a whole different level after year after, as the years went by, Dan Dan, People who continue to practice this, who have continued it under the quiet, have taken it to a whole different level, whether it's the scamming level 
or above that mm. where they have inflicted harm mm. and hurt on other people. If it's for that cause, I am not for it. Dan, Dan. I will never yeah. be for it. Let, 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 let me ask you something. Um, are you aware, and this is my thinking, because when, when I heard it, that the, that the minister is, has an intent to bring it to the, is it what, the parliamentary council? Mm. It was a distraction for all I care. Right. Um, just like with many things that happen around the world, a lot of laws are made because of certain commercial there's sometimes an agenda then. Let me put it for want of a more mm. um, politically correct way. Yes, no, no agenda. Proper right? Way. The agenda is possibly one which can have, say, impact on our national economy, gross domestic product, tourism, whatever, whatever it is, job creation, stuff like that. And possibly. I think all yeah. of it have a possible no. impact. Please. I'm not certain if my listeners have taken notice that since the uh, let me find some so, some right word no not the utterance okay since the, the scamming became prominent mm. scamming has been associated in many regards with the practice when, of when, 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 when mean scamming you mean scamming with them when, when oh, them oh, call, call, call and, people and, right yes, that right. one yeah. that, that, that kind of scamming okay yes that one yeah it um since it has become more prominent it has been also associated that some of these scammers have gone to seek protection right and have no people who they call no hold on they hold on said that too. Oh, yeah well Listen, remember this story about belief kill, belief cure, right? It, 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 in my opinion, it, it, it left to where you are, or, or a person is in their mindset. Now, subsequent to the whole um, birth and flourish of the scamming, I was saying before, I'm not certain if my listeners were taking notice that at a certain time of the day, certain forms of advertisement have become more and more popular. And initially, it was surrounding mainly persons having these businesses in the western end of the island, of which they are from um, an Indian practice. Mm -hmm. Where them mm -hmm. say them a do where, where, where name them a read you up where, where them call it? brother Ramahana yeah they, 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 <laughs> them the name there yeah. right a lot of business have come about since now when I heard of this 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 um, utterance and declaration regarding legalizing of Obia I think. In my opinion, and I and I and I stand to be corrected, <laughs> that it is all for commercial reasons, and I've been saying this for a long time to our listeners that we import people, we import culture. Mm -hmm. Now, if in the Indian world. Reading and telling you your card and the card mm -hmm. with different sitting now one big guy come up then that means that this that and one one sitting come up with about eight different hand come up and this that and people going there to believe in these things. Mm -hmm. It is the people's culture that we have imported and probably probably in their culture it is lawful. Because mm -hmm. it could be a part of their religious belief. Mm -hmm. Now, if it is a part of a culture or a, or, or a certain sect of people, religious belief, and we are the country with the motto, out of many one people, <laughs> then how would we have the moral authority then 
to put because of a legal framework that exists to say you cannot practice the way or what you believe in our country because it is unlawful. But then them can say, but guess what? When we read what you are talking about, we not scam nobody. We might have called a scammer them, or some of our clients might be somebody scammer them. But we aren't the one scamming. We're offering a service where a man feels comfortable and we believe a boy. Oh, astrology. Why is somebody ever type that in? Come on, man. <laughs> astrology. Look here. No, Medan. Look here. Is astrology obia? Ask Cleo. No. Ask me. Is there a difference between astrology and the reader, man? But, but, but no, no, man. Make, but, no, but, Dana. Well, like, no, no, like Dan, Dan. Well, on. Dan, no jump from that, man. Is there a difference between the man where practice astrology and the reader, man? How different well, is it from the Obia man? This is why. This, 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 this is why. You know, the Obia man is a reader, man. No, no. Reader yeah. man, a different but, but, man. Yes, a different man. Oh, yeah, I want to the me. people but, out there to call the right, show well, and on. tell me. Those Black who Heart, know. Blackheart man, who? I don't know about that one. I hear him, but I don't know about him. Blackheart man, who, Dan Dan? Based on what but, I but, hear. But, 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 but read a okay. man. This, 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 this is why. This is why I. I, I All the people are so quiet. I wonder Lord too. Lord of mercy. There are people who will no. tell you that if you want to know your future and what's gonna happen to you and whatever, one read a man can read you up. One 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 prayer lady from Poco or whichever church. And we call prayer warrior. Yeah, pray for you. No, and, but, and, well, and, and, clear, and, clear, clear. I think what the, the area you're making, you know, you 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 are associating other man um, with anything evil. I think I I I I and and, and I am associating Obia with evil, and I will not ch yeah, ever but, change that. So, uh, okay, so so you so so you so you don't think um, that that Obia imparts some good also? Excuse me, if you can show no, me, you. if you can tell me of an incident where yes, it was practiced and it no, was no, good. No, 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 no. If you, well, if you, no, Dan, no, no. know well, well, of well, somebody ask a question, who, because, because, because Daddy would ask a question a while ago. If, if a reader man is not obvious, if, because a reader man, so, so if some, if someone, I, I, I read you up, you know, what, what inherently is there evil in that? If, if it is that a person, in, this is my view, now you know, because I've heard of persons, and I know at least two people who have experienced that, and from what I gather, is nothing good. So I could be so wrong because I don't practice it and I've never been to any and I don't intend to. Thank you, Jesus. But, but let me ask a question. But I'm saying, what I know about How it is nothing good. So if somebody can call me and prove to me that, boy, Cleo, I went to Oberman and it oh. was for all good. And I was then blessed it, from it. Then if I'll, Fine, tell then, me then, that. Then, 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 but until well, then, then, well, then me, me, the word phobia and my association is evil. I remember them who, 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 and friends who, who close people who mentioned it to me about them, them with the other man. It's, uh, it, 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 it's, not, it's not about evil. Oh, they, 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 they want to have a visa and a green card, no, and then get it. Them not, them, them, them not try, them not try to get, to get, to get somebody shut them out forever. Them not try to, to, um, to get somebody as woman, and I'm not like that. Oh, Dan Dan, and you believe yeah. that it worked for da, them? Dan Dan, no, look, you can't, you can't ask him. Like, or is that scamming? Like, but you like say them tell you about it, so do you well, think it? Tell me, what, look here. If them believe it, can't, look, I can't argue with their belief. That's what I say. It's not a matter of me, me to believe or not. Do you? Not did you tell them that scared. they were scammed? You think they were scammed? Uh, well, them pay the money and them seem happy with, happy with, with, with them returns. So I don't know. I don't know that that's a scam. Oh, but you said it was a scam, didn't you? Sometimes, uh, you, you know, you, you, you go to the supermarket <laughs> and, 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 buy, and buy crackers. and are you know, easy, dry. you know. <laughs> you, pay, you, you, pay, you pay money willingly. Were, were you scammed? You, you get dry crackers instead of juicy crackers? I don't know. Road, right. I hear you, sir. Let, let's hold on there. Let's see what Ron in Calgary says. Ron, I beg to differ. You have to understand that crime out of control and not no work. So the government now have to start over the bad man, them to control crime. <laughs> Great crime fighting tool. <laughs> but the bad man, they have a line oh in their pocket. I want to tell you something. You saw the video once. Dan Dan. He's gone. And you know, me have a question to ask you. 
about me one Dan and for be a witness. I'm sure he's listening. I'm sure he's listening. Um, I saw a video once where police. It was on TV actually. Police um, raided uh, a man's one of the scammers' um, premises. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And a lot. The of, amount are sitting way in there. A lot of things were found, and they were. I think they had labels, oil of whatever, whatever, and they were telling you some of the things mm -hmm. that he had. And pretty much from what I can remember right now, I think some of the things were oil of whatever. It's like. When they, when they call the persons, I don't know how it worked. Mm. I don't know how they use these powders and these oils or whatever. If them, you know, if them hypnotize them through the phone, God, only God can tell us how it worked. Or them. And persons were hypnotized or whatever to give up their personal information and for them to be scammed. Because I've always said, if you've never bought, say, a lot of tickets, how can you buy into somebody calling you to say you've won when you haven't done anything to win something. And I've always said, boy, them, them not think, or them silly, or them whatever. But it probably goes deeper than what I know. Because some of these people, based on what it said, something, some, some, some way you call it now, some spirit is mm. over them or it, it, it would appear. So they're not, they're not working off their own free will some influence that uh, <sighs> and i don't know if i this is a belief can not believe cure but i don't know if i disbelieve because it's just really weird yes i know they're elderly people most of them but the man himself have these things and obviously he thinks it works so i guess he's practicing Bobia, nothing good Caller coming in on the 954. Good night, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. Good night, Claire. How are you doing? I'm not very good, you know. What's <laughs> hanging in there? No, about this subject. This is a very touchy subject. Yes. But some of the stuff I don't, I don't really agree with. On whose part? As, as, as to even what Dundon was saying about most of the time when... Well, even people who go there... Can you... Marvin, could you speak a little louder, please? Can hardly hear you. No, I think he was saying that he, he knows somebody that went there and it wasn't for any, anything bad. Yes. Right? And I think that rule was saying something about Jesus or something like that. Yes. Or whatever. My thing is, if, if you want to see that, why go, why go to other man? Why can't you pray to God about it? Yeah. Good question. I mean, you know what I mean? I... I never really was a big fan of that. I never really believed in it. I, I, I have friends who ask, well, I have a friend who, she soccer claimed that that's what killed her mother, the OBR and whatever, whatever, not then. Or she went to a reader on and that's what the reader, reader lead to her. Like there was a uh, John Brown doing something, whatever, 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 whatever. But me personally, I never experienced it. And uh, I don't want to, and just like you, I would never go there. Uh, Marvin. Right? Yes. Hold that thought. Could you hold a thought until after the break? It's 11.30. Oh, okay. Oh, right. Thank you so much. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. It's 11.30. We soon come. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 893-2266 The most anticipated party of the summer is back Styles FM Fan Fusion Party Episode 6 Drunken Masquerade Saturday, July 13, 2019 at the Bayview Waterfront Property Oysters Bay Port Antonio, Jamaica Come here Styles FM's finest DJs juggling retro hits from the 70s 80s 90s and early 2000s. Admission 700 pre-sold. 1,000 at the gate. VIP 3,500. Styles Evo 6,000. Party starts at 7 p.m. sharp. Listen to Styles FM for ticket outlets or call 
876-518-2399. Fan Fusion Party, Drunken Masquerade. Dress tropically elegant. Fan Fusion is not just a party, it's an experience. Must be 18 years and older to enter. ID required. Drink responsibly. Fan Fusion! Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518-2399. To advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399. 518-2399. Don't forget, 518-2399. Planning a party? Club night out? stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event, let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low-priced promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Don't miss the adrenaline rush with the musical ingenious digital team. Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artists and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8 p.m. Come, Styles FM. Digital tea. Our brain. Look, man. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles of it. Thank you guys for sticking with us. Thanks Marvin for holding and we go right back to you with your views. Thanks Marvin. Go ahead. Yes. Yeah, so I mean I think that 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 whole thing is this if you because I'm pretty sure if you ask somebody who believes in it and somebody who don't believe in it, they're gonna give you two different kingdoms. Some they're gonna say, Well yeah I don't believe in it and Somebody who believes in it and it happened, they're going to say, yeah, because this happened to me before. Mm -hmm. Because I never experienced it before. No. Am I, if, if somebody tell me that, they're not going to obey me. Would I believe them? Yeah. Reason being, this, that, this, this agent I'm living in, anything mm -hmm. is possible. Anything is possible. So if somebody tell me that, I'm not taking it like What is it, Mokin? I'm not taking it like do you Do you believe that? Um, good and evil exist? Yeah, I do. Okay, because I believe that too. And I believe that the same way you have the power of good, you have the power of evil. Yeah. Okay. And the part of outside family members, if, if I hear that my aunt or cousin or brother has a word for this, mm -hmm. I don't think, I don't think I would want to be a person. You don't want you don't want to associate with them. I don't. I don't think so. Because my whole thing is, if you, if 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 as as to what Danda was saying, you know, you know, people went there for good reason. Yes. You know what I mean? You have got for that. But if, if it's something good, you don't want I like you want to take that job or whatever the case may be. You pretty good. That's I what mean, I think too. I don't. I don't see the whole point of you going to go there, man. But does that? You know what I mean? I, I just think any time somebody goes to go there, man, I was just so bad. I, I agree with you. And that's just my opinion. Thank you very but, much, sir. You know what I mean? <laughs> what, do you, what do you think, Barry Oh, my mic was off. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm still the believe, kill, believe, cure person. I've never, I've never. I never was able to identify with an individual that practices um, what would I say a witchcraft or obia. Um, always heard of it, always heard of situations where 
you know, hear say boy is mad dead because he get promotion and co worker hobby him and all, all kind of something, you know? Mm. Um, suspiciously, when persons die and no matter where you test, they never feel sick before, no matter how they test them, doctor can't come up with no form of um, reason for them to be feeling ill or. Yeah. You know, no or, medical explanation. No medical explanation. Mm. Then the whole um, thing would have circulated, say, this one and that, and you know, we really don't know what 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 is happening, whether or not it is it, it is true. Um, the 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 reason for legalizing for for, for um, making it a, a a criminal act mm. would have to be yeah. known the history as to why. But then again, we would want to look at our history and consider the savagery. Mm. How many persons or how many laws would have went against what the slaves went through? Mm. So we're not really so sure. But in my opinion, I think because of the whole... Um, astrology thing because it's 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 it has currently it is currently apparently a big business yeah. and they advertise a lot so for some reason based on how i see things happening nowadays where laws are passed and then sooner or later you find that you know certain businesses come up mm. you know it is it is it is, it is, it is I'm 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 looking, cause what I can say back to the, the um, the pet business. Mm. There are a number of persons now setting up business. For farm in order to offer pep as a training. So I'm not really necessarily surprised that certain things are going for commercial reasons. Yeah. Not necessarily for the benefit of the country, but for financial gain. So me 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 I watch and see. But when I want to know from Clear still, you know, the Stu P's business. I hope you are that. So they say. So when a woman give a man Stu P's. No, 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 no. A woman can give a man Stu P's and it's legit and normal. It is said that a woman can give a man Stu P's mm. and put something in there because the Stu P's can also cover whatever, whatever. Mm. That, and I'm wondering, can't a man give a woman two peas and put whatever in there too? To tie her, as they put it? Why is it a woman <laughs> giving a man two peas to tie him? Ah. And which, which sensible, which I said sensible, which sensible woman would want to tie a man? Wouldn't you just want a man to naturally want you and ravish you and love you as a woman? My Why girl. would I want we, to go uh, tie a man? So far. No, me can't get it for true. I mean, some men the can be such crosses. Why would you want to go and tie a man to yourself? My girl, a obia ya, obia, a obia ya, obia the man when no, you give me stupid for him. No, no, I love stupid with pigs tail in there. Well, I know. So, I not we cook no stupid and give no man for your time, nothing. No, 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 no. So, no. if you do that, a obia, may I ask you? No. You're not getting what I'm saying. Well, if they put something in there, that's My a girl. different thing. That's the obia part. I'm not ask you if you put nothing in a stew piece. Me, no, I'm not ask you in general. In general, when a woman, if you cook, when a woman, you cook yeah. stew piece normally, yeah. you're a good up, good up girl and you cook stew piece. No, you no, stew no, piece. no, no, no. We're not talking about talk the tines. The tines are obia. They associate stew peas, a woman giving a stew piece, man, as she put something in there for time. She obia him. You know that me ask a man so so. Mister yeah, man, she try tie no tie tie no obia something my youth. So if a woman tie one man or vice versa. It's obia they talking about. Uh, obia. Yes. Yeah, so I'm saying ordinary stupies cook. That's fine. But if she or him put whatever in there, whatever to to hold whoever, then that's an act of the obia part coming out, which is nothing good again, right? This so that me try to tell you. And as Marvin said, I know nothing good. When you, for the most people who do it, I nothing good. People want something, they go to a prayer meeting and go pray and make pray for some blessing if they get them visa or whatever and then pray about it and, you know, see, look a blessing and so on. So and not so obey that. No. But when you're gone, no, gone, do something bad to somebody else and 
me can't support that something them. I'm sorry, me can't support that legalizing them. I'm not lie to you. Yeah, because you can realize, you can realize, you know, like, even if the you're talking about it, I remember you're the body, so you know, sir, I'm going to go up man because I'm going to pass the extra man, whatever, whatever, not on the park. True. Always something bad. Always something bad, bad uh, Marvin. Always uh, something uh, evil. Uh, For Earth, Smaddy. No one. Yes, yeah, somebody trouble them uh, uh, and keep them good or uh, whatever, and they yeah. go over them. And somebody, yeah, um, so one, then witness, um, one case of court yeah. and the witness, then turn the witness mad. So, how uh, kind of something you hear? Pure evil. It's always, it's always something, but I never hear anybody say, 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 say them go there for like a good, good reason. It's always something bad. True. It's always something bad. True, true. So, my opinion, I, 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 the whole thing, and uh, I mean, I don't, I don't know. In, even my opinion, remember, I know the Bible said before God come back, one of us killed one another and all this kind of stuff and all this extra stuff and mm -hmm. whatever, whatever, whatever that. So, you know, if God said that's not going to happen before we come, or if that happens, not going to come, then that means that something that has to, has to happen before we come. Look here, so, no man. May I tell you? I hope you're somebody. I hope you're this. See, if, if that's not going to stop it. Marvin, the hearts of men have grown desperately wicked. The, the very Bible tells us that. And you find that people can't, some people will not just willingly see the person and go shoot them or kill them just like that. But when they can go somewhere and pay to get whatever. To harm the person, trust me, there are people out there who will do it. Yeah, and, I, and, and like all these people, young people, know, they don't really want to work hard to do anything. They just want this fast life and this fancy thing that fancy that I don't want to work hard for it. You know what I mean? So that's, that's just my whole thing on that part. All right, sir. Thank you so much, Marvin. Uh, okay. Roan says, in Calgary, says... I think we are missing, misinterpreting the views of Obia. Obia and, and voodoo is um, their religious practices mainly between Western, Af Western Africans. What we are calling Obia should really be called by the right name, which is witchcraft. And from what he's saying, I'm analyzing that witchcraft is not a part of Obia, the Obia itself. I'm not sure if I should have you. We have a caller on 453. Good night, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. Can hardly hear you. Hold a minute, sir. Yes, go ahead. Hi, big up yourself, bloody root. Big up, clear? Yes, sir. What's up? Um, I hear another topic. I just came in and hear the topic of Obia. Yes, sir. I suppose you find yourself with a man like you love two people. Suppose you find yourself with a man you love. You don't think I tie and tie up with two pieces? It possible? Where do you think that you would ever find yourself with a woman where you love? Where you don't forget to? Well, I don't know, but I'm going to find the opposite of two pieces and game. <laughs> <laughs> you say you're tired of your tie double. You're not tired of your tie careful. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, sir. Yeah, go ahead. You meet a lady, she's the sweetest thing you come across in sliced bread. And you discover that she's in the practice of working witchcraft, as um, yeah. Rowan says. Yeah. Would you maintain the association with her? Because life's no, sweet, you know. Money are coming, flushing, you know. Life nice. For Would me, you stick around? No, no, definitely not stick around. Where you run going life good, my youth? Where you run going? Tell me where you run going. Life good. Eh. I don't know how good life I must have to take it. I don't know how to get that goal. But you are suffer a long time. You are suffer a long and hard and life just get good now. And you are going to run lefty? Yeah, me, 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 me can't do my investigation why it's not so good when, when I ask him or whatever. Any, any way you take it. Me, we have to do that. We have to do assessment or anything we are going on. So would you be comfortable if they legalize this Obia thing? Because okay. Ron is saying it's nothing negative, it's um, a religious practice. Yeah. So would you, yeah. would you be comfortable with, with openly walking into a shop 
in St. Yeah. Thomas, in Morant Bay. Yeah. And going to visit the reader man or the mother woman comfortably if they legalize it? Yes. Yes, yes. Are you not afraid of who I see you going and come out? Mm, no. You're not going by late night? No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not. I, because I may be not going to do it. But my reason for saying that, mm -hmm. I, would, that is what I think is $100 for the, the charges. Don't it? I don't know my uh, love. I never go yet. Yes, I think. No, I think if I charge uh, in the legislative book, mm -hmm. it's about $100, I think, are the charge. Oh, whoa. Yes, so I think that they should just take off the hundred dollar and leave it alone because you see if they charge to charge more, it's what my gate for corruption. Eh, more corruption. The, the person I'm gonna lock, lock up the police, the person who I'm gonna lock up over man going to take ten thousand dollar from him. Oh if they, if they start to charge more. So I think I should leave it alone because the fact that it is not legalized, don't stop the people who wanted to do it mm -hmm. from doing it. They are still they doing it. Yes. They, they are partially legalized in ganja, and, and yes, for all, you still can be charged with ganja. Right. We, so, so I mean, if, and it's so open the door for corruption that when you put more money on it, all they have to do, the person who will lock up just to charge some money, and it still continue. It won't stop the practice. Mm -hmm. so, but when no money is on it now, the man have to worry if you go, go on it, it, it becomes cheap. So everybody practices so that even the Obia man going to survive too tough. Okay. You know, these things like that? Yes, The more yes. you put money on the things, it open a corruption door. Yes. More corruption, and, sir. Yes, yeah, definitely more corruption. Um, I think they should just leave it at that. It will come so cheap that nobody would need, More people are going to practice that it's not going to be even. Nobody going to pay it no mind. Mm. all who can do it going to try practice something. And, and they will go deep into the practice, don't it? Yeah, it, it's not going to last. So tell me something. How would you feel if somebody said to you, I'm going to go you? I'm not afraid. If it's time to shoot me, I'm a lot more scared. I'll leave me down with stone. I'll dodge me in the night. So you're not afraid of Obia? Definitely not. You're not afraid of witchcraft? No, you're not happy. Oh. I have never seen any action resulted from that. I'm not going to say it don't happen, you know. Mm -hmm. Because I'm two each is one. Yes. But I, I cannot recall anybody. I hear a lot of people say that Obia is up. And people tell me already, a man tell me, give me nine days to live in Port Mara. Oh, wow. And, and I and, and I hold it for years now. But nine Apart days to live, that means you're going to Obia still, you know? Eh? Giving you nine days to live, that means you're going to Obia, yeah? Well, me don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, wow. But, but, but um, he never don't shoot me because he, he never had a gun. <laughs> and they can't just say, my Obia man, he used to wear a lady's shoes. Oh, and, I see, I see. Yeah, you know, and I have things stay up on him gate. And to him, did I take one of the person things that I go, my mother pick an ex-marine and I say, leave him man something because you have your, your wicked. Then he said, me will chat too much and things like that. Okay. I am, I am not as scared. I'm not fear. Okay. Right? I'm not fear of those things. I'm afraid of the, the man who dodge me, shoot me, or that me more scared of that. So if so, they were to legalize it, you think you'd, you'd probably try to pick up the practice? No, that, that, to me, I waste of time. To be frank, I don't think I should pay as much mind. Okay. Just let it linger on and go on, like me say, because whosoever will, then, will I legalize or not legalize, I'm going to do it. Just yes, like, same way so. Just like smoking. If my can back smoking kills a man till smoking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sir. Don't you see that? I'll Definitely. You. Definitely. Yeah. Thank you so much for your input. Okay, that's it. Thanks. All right. Um, 362 says Obia or witchcraft is nonsense. All right, we have some Vox Pop. Let's hear what the people are saying on the street. This is really nonsense they're talking about. There should be no way of legalization of obiaism. Nowhere at all. Neither Jamaica, nowhere. This a demonic assignment and demonic things they put in on the country. What kind of obiaism they're talking about legalizing in Jamaica? This is foolishness and this is supposed to put to push under the trash. Because guess what? This is no joking. It's time for we wake up and see say the enemy are engulf us and I try to encamp 
campus. No Obia is him, no we are. Me no feel comfortable with it. And who's to ever want to think that, okay, they are doing the right thing for people. They are doing something that is wrong because it is a demonic system they bring in and curse them putting over the country. We have enough blood shedding and bloodletting already. And how many wrong things are going on. And figure bring a bigger evil upon the island. It is not right. This is foolishness. They need to go find some things to do to put them in place properly to make people that are there not working get jobs. That's what they need to find. I'm um, tap out. They might go legalize demons where there enough demons down there. The demons are killing where they might kill picnic. They might take where picnic all of them. They're sitting there. They're already. One more demon they want to bring over the place. They need to them de- 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 people where they claim that they might heads of government. They need to sit back, relax and put a proper proper things in place to make it better for the youths of tomorrow growing up. People are hurt people already so much. And when a man can look for you now and go tell you about him I go hope a man fear and with no fear, no thought, you know. Just like our man can look for you and tell us I'm go kill you and him kill you for true. No man, listen to me. Somebody need to put some sense in these people that has our leaders. Because for me, I may say it with no apology, I know if it is um valuable to go on the ear, they are educated fools. Real talk. People are hurt people already so much. And when a man can look for you now and go tell you about him, I go hope a man for you and with no fear, no thought, you know. Just like our man can look for you and tell us I'm going to kill you and he'll kill you for true. No man, listen to me. Somebody need to put some sense in these people that are our leaders. Because for me, I may say it with no apology, I know if it is um, valuable to go on the ear, they are educated fools. I don't want to no share and part with nobody where they mess up and I believe in an evil. I don't want to have nothing to do with them because I've seen how this have destroyed people. So anybody will mix up in an evil and them something, they don't want to have nothing to do with them. Real talk. From day one, I look up on this other thing. I understand me, I always say anybody will mix up with it. And nasty people, pure nastiness, ungodliness. So now, I don't see where it's from. You understand me? I mean, I mix up with nobody where I do it. From me, no say anything, it's not the men I want that. Not to eat, me I want to eat from you. You understand me? I come here, pray, and I'm not walking here, part way. You understand me? And reason being, me I want nobody to come say, me I want them to. You understand me? For anything wrong, it's wrong. And me just saying, I'm not with it. You understand me? It's something that comes from the Peter L. And this is his steel. Welcome back to Real Talk. And we're talking about this issue of legalizing the obia and if it were to become legalized <laughs> if it were to become legalized how would that affect how you? would it affect you would you be readily able to visit willing to visit the reader man or the mother woman um would you associate yourself with your family member if you found out that they were involved in it would it be like nothing to you hmm and how seriously would you take it if somebody said to you, said them, I go, obey you. <laughs> Nothing to you or it means much to you. Much to you. All right. Um, from my perspective, I would not ever, ever, ever find myself saying I'm going to walk into a obey a man's place or a reader man's place. It, this, the whole thought of it gives me the creeps. Mm-hmm. Seeing those little bottles and potions and whatever. I'm, I mean, I'm on the road of street of Port Antonio and see a man walking and selling his um, olive oil. Yeah. And that's the bottle with right inner. <laughs> Me associate this, the color of the bottle with where them, you know, where you sip on the, the, the videos and the TV and it just look creepy. <laughs> so add it with a different color bottle. I don't know. Maybe I would have bought it. But just the way it look. The bottle, the containers alone, all freak me out. So to find myself saying whether them legalize or legalize not, to walk into one of those places and feel comfortable, hell no. And whether stigma or stigma not or condemnation, just me personally, mm-hmm. cannot find myself being comfortable to, to go to that level. So it's a no-no for me. So like- Family member doing it, me free of Coward man keeps sound bone. Me now go go round them and go interact with them and I'm so uncle you well. My wan pass my exam. <laughs> you can't help me for pass. Me, me can't. Or 
Me say one boy at school beat me up. And that's when you just make it and make it and limp up. Or limp up, you know, no. And, and I'm coming to my uncle or me. To make them do something for the, to the person. No, sir. All I right, can't. all right. Mm-mm. You want to know my niece? Mm-hmm. You see that pencil here? <laughs> so you done the exam. <laughs> Just broke a pint. <laughs> and and I use the pencil again. <laughs> Just carry the pencil. Go up at the fall cube. Oh, Jesus. And put it right at the third biggest chicken. Mm-hmm. Mouth. Mm-hmm. If him picky. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Co- you know pass. My co-host is an idiot. <laughs> but if you're not picky, you pass. You pass. Oh my goodness. And funny enough, people, people, people believe of, these things. Me know saying no fool now pick no pens of no food. <laughs> <laughs> so there, that's the scamming part of it, right? I guess that's the scamming part of it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but on a very serious note, um, if someone said to me, so they might go over me. I'm not lying, I'm afraid. I'm not lying, I'm afraid because when people talk these things these days or anything at all, you don't even take them, seri- take, take, them, take them lightly. Take it seriously. Because as I said before, and I strongly believe, the hearts of man, it has grown desperately wicked. I've seen people do some things where, quite frankly, never even call for. Mm-hmm. Not about Obi and all, but other things. Evil, evil yeah. acts. We never even call for. So what says, you know, bigger things? Why wouldn't they, some of them, go to the extreme? There are people who will believe more and quick, will be more quick to do evil than to do good. Do good. So we don't put it past them. If they say it, not their mind and their intention to do it. So, free that technique. In, in the act, it speaks about um, imprisonment. Mm-hmm. It speaks about lashes. Whether or not you... Not just the, 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 the person practicing, but the person engaging mm-hmm. the person who practices. You can't take no loss here, no. I mean, I right, so, I mean, it's, it's, it's one of those things where <laughs> let's hope it's nothing that is going to be serious in terms of the utterance and it was just uh, mm-hmm. a distractor. A distractor. Um, Nine day wonder, please. I, re- I, I really don't have much. You know, because I'm, I'm not one who really kind of indulge even in the thought. Neither. Neither. You know, <laughs> it, it's just let, let who wants to do, go and do. And if you can't do good, not go do, do not at all. at all. True. Straight. Real talk. Real talk. That. Well, you know, we've come to the end of the show, guys. It's 12 o'clock, pretty much. Um, we wish to thank all the people who have text in all those who have called in those who just listened by the radio or watched yep. by the world wide web we want to thank you all very much um we pray that you will continue to keep it locked to stars fm and continue to share in our real talk issues on a friday night on behalf of our engineer cassidy and my co-host, Daddy Roo. Let me say big ups to all the teachers, them who looking forward to the...